Another Moving right along with the Opie and Anthony show. We got Louis C.K. in studio now. He's playing Governors out there in Levittown on Long Island uh, tonight. Tomorrow's shows are sold out, so go go see Lou. Yeah. Next week I'm in Pittsburgh and Columbus too, doing some theaters. We got but, some we got some fans in those cities there, Louis. And right. tonight, Halloween party, the Opie and Anthony Halloween party at the High Rock Cafe. Oh. There's cash prizes for your best costume related to the show. Yeah, we don't want to see all the other crap. We don't want yeah. to see the Heath Ledger. Everyone's going to be dressed up as Heath Ledger. That's uh, going to be the costume many, this year. How many gurneys can you lay still on? Yeah. Well, if you did it that way, that would be brilliant. Oh, you mean uh, the Joker? Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought you meant they were going to be like Heath Ledger. Nah, they can do the, the Joker. Right back uh, mountain or something. Kind of poor taste. Can I mention one thing before I forget, please? At 10, 10 o'clock this morning, my D.C. tickets go on sale. It's Virginia. It's uh, right outside D.C. Mm. For December 5th at Ticketmaster. I'm doing Why do you shows. say D.C. if it's not in D.C.? It's D.C. market. All the hipsters get that. Yeah, but it's not in D.C. No, I know, but if I say Virginia, even people in Virginia don't care. Yeah, and then we got <laughs> Jim Jeffries on the couch. Yes. Hello. Eating. Yeah. Eating, I'm yes. I'm eating a lovely omelet and, and a steak. And, and you're playing Caroline's. How was it last night? Good? It was, it was, there wasn't many there, but it was, it was a great, great gig. It's a weird place during the week with the tourists, though. Yeah. No, there was a few Australian people there and a few English people there. Not many Americans came to see me. So really? Me. Oh, well, you know, you get that. What's wrong with them? I, I, had a, I had a really bad thing last night. I worked for a radio station in Australia, and they ring me up, and they go, um... Uh, uh, we're going to do a cross here in Times Square. You tell us what's going on with Halloween. And I'm like, oh, no. it's not Halloween in this country. We're, no. we're a day behind you. Right? <laughs> they, they and, didn't. and they're like this. They go, just pretend. Australia will oh, never no. know. And because i got a job with them, I couldn't go, I can't get oh, off for you. What are you talking no. about? Oh, no. So there's me standing there going, oh, there's women in naughty nurses' outfits. <laughs> how, are you, how are you going, girls? Oh, Times Square's gone mental. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It was the worst bit of radio ever. <laughs> and worse than that, it was on breakfast radio over there. So, oh, t- you know what? Uh, yeah, Iraq- people do the math and realize, like, that, wait a minute, it's <laughs> not Halloween. Yeah, no. didn't anybody? Or did behind. We, we got to get that clip. <laughs> no, no, e Rock, try I, to find I, that clip. I, I, we got to hear it. I work for him. No, don't do that. Don't hey, do that we have to do that. I got, I'm I got sorry. a job. Don't Russell brand me out of my own job. <laughs> yeah, <please>. yeah, really. <laughs> Treat him nicely. Russell, by the way, uh, I want to hear the clips of the phone calls he made. But uh, did I tell you? I, I used to, I used to go out with that girl. She's an ex girlfriend of mine. I am the girl that the girl that's in. Well, the that story. Russell banged. Well, ex- that Russell Manuel's granddaughter is an ex girlfriend of mine. Explain the controversy because a lot of people, oh, you know, know. But there's a guy called Manuel of Faulty Towers who was a, a Spanish bloke on on a TV show who's meant to be thick. Unless you watch the TV show in Spain where they made him Mexican, mm. which is worth knowing. Uh, really? They yeah, did? yeah. Manuel was the stupid Mexican. In, wow. in Faulty Towers. Faulty Towers was uh, great with, uh, yeah. yeah. John Cleese, Cleese right? Yeah. John Cleese. One of the best sitcoms ever. Only 12 yeah. episodes, but great. Right? Only 12 episodes of that? 12 episodes, yeah. Two seasons of six. British don't play games. They don't go too long. They just they cut it oh. quick. Ah, and they yeah. also they decide to make episodes when the hell they want to. <laughs> yeah. they, don't, they don't sit to any schedule. They go, we, and next episode's in five weeks. And you go, <laughs> what? What happened there? And what's it, a morning show now? When did that happen? <laughs> um <laughs> but uh, I, uh, so so Manuel uh, has a granddaughter who who has a well, let's say a questionable uh, occupation. She dances for a burlesque troupe called the Satanic Sluts. Mm. It's a fairly suggestive mm. name. It, it might not mean what you think. And uh, then there's uh, Jonathan Ross, and who's the biggest broadcaster in on British television. He's the six million pound man. For, for that's what he gets paid by the BBC. Who we call E Rock. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fat joke. And then uh, so and then then there's then there's there's Russell Brand, who's the pretty boy of uh, the whole thing, and you know might have seen him in that Sarah Marshall film. And I yeah. About. So they were on a radio. And show. he really took Tinseltown to task when he took the MTV Awards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I heard it went badly. And he yeah. hold up a mirror to those phonies. He yeah. sure <laughs> did. Oh, yeah. I, I, heard, I heard he made some George Bush. Jokes that were quite oh, questionable. Wow. Settle down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> called a retarded cowboy. I was like, well, this guy is crazy. I, I think uh, we, would, we wouldn't let him play with scissors. Oh, stop it, Russell. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so. Scathing. Uh, so. Jonas Brothers, too? Oh, this no. guy nuts. Uh, leave them alone. <laughs> How many big targets are you going after? Yeah, oh. that, you, tell me he said something about Britney. Uh, he probably did. Oh, he was that he, wild. Knowing that edgy mf wow. he probably went off, went <laughs> yeah. off on her. So, <laughs> He's crazy. So anyway, so he gets on the radio. He rings up Manuel's, uh, Manuel, right, and says that he's going to interview him. 
This is the facade they're using. They go, oh, we wanted to interview him about Faulty Towers. Why? No one's interviewed Manuel in 30 yeah. years. No one's asked a question about Faulty Towers. But anyway, obviously Manuel's not there. So he just leaves five, six, maybe seven answering machine messages going, I effed your daughter. I, I granddaughter? Daughter, granddaughter. I go after your granddaughter. Oh, it's a granddaughter. They've, they've, they've got the footage here. Yeah, I got a taste of it. Man, uh, Andrew Sachs. Don't call him Manuel. That's but really just, bad. Call him manners. Andrew Sachs. Oh, I apologise. Said Russell. Andrew Sachs. He, he's an idiot. Look, Andrew Sachs. I've got respect for you and your lineage and progeny. No, Never let don't, that be questioned. Don't hint. I wasn't hinting. Why did that come across as a hint? Because you know what you're talking about. Now, when you were the granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, 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 right now. I'm sorry. I'm, right now. I'm sorry. I apologize. I do apologize. Wow, shock jocks. I love it. Mm. And do you know, I was out of, obviously out of voicemail. They got, I think it was 18,000 complaints. Is on so far. They got real complaints. But really? I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You can't ring someone's grandfather up yeah. and tell him about it. And he's just yeah. an old bloke sitting at home going, <laughs> Yeah, like, he's not, he's not from cur what I currently know, having a show. But he's not like a, in the public eye. He's just no. a private citizen somewhere. Yeah, yeah. He, he was on a TV show 30 Mr. years Mr. ago. Mr. Faulty! Mr. Yeah. Faulty! <laughs> and the thing was, from what I know from talking to his um, granddaughter, him and his granddaughter are out on best terms anyway. Oh, okay. Old yeah. voluptuous with a destroyer. She, mm -hmm. uh, oh, she's a, she's a curvy girl. Oh, is yeah. she? Oh, she could take a punch. Where's uh where's a picture over there? Um and, and you used to go out with this girl? I went out with her when she was eighteen, when I was about twenty five, when yeah. she was about eighteen. Oh, she was she was up at the this is before she was a member of the satanic sluts. But you know, you could see it was coming. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well the guys knew they were in some uh, trouble, so they tried to like cover their you know, their tracks here. Mm -hmm. Look, Andrew, I'm phoning you to ask if I can marry that's right, marry your granddaughter, Georgina the granddaughter. And I'd like to be a page boy. <gasps> he wants to be a page boy. We're gonna have a Forty Towers themed no, wedding. No, now you've spoiled no! it. No, oh, I'll find any better. Oh look, look, I'm sorry, I'll do anything. I wore a condom! It is still Jocktober, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He uses a lot of flowery words, Russell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. He's over-exaggerated. And then they talk yeah. about things like it's... Mm. He once came up to me and he went, You're an ordinary man with overtones of smut and philanthropy. What, what are you talking about? What, what, yeah, what, what? what does that mean? <laughs> Stop trying to be random. Yeah. Stop yeah. trying to be brilliantly <clears throat> obscure and random. No yeah. one cares. Calm yeah, yeah. down, you phony. Just uh, always, always remember... <laughs> he, oh, I'm sorry. He used to, uh, <laughs> he, he used to uh, <laughs> put it in his mouth for Coke back in the day. That's what I always think when I look at him. Yeah. yeah. All right. yeah I read his book. Right. It's kind of interesting. He, he had a bad drug habit. He continued calling uh, the guy back over and over again. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'd like to apologize for these terrible yeah, attacks, bum, bum, Andrew Sachs. Bum, bum, bum. I'd like to show contrition bum, bum, to the max, bum, bum, Andrew Sachs. Bum, 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 bum. I'd like to create bum, bum, world bum, peace bum, bum, between bum, the bum, yellow, bum, whites, bum, and blacks, Andrew Sachs. Bum, bum, Andrew bum, Sachs. Bum, 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 bum. I said some things bum, bum, I didn't bum, have order, bum, like I had sex bum, bum, with bum, your grand. Daughter, oh, she did. Bum, but it was consensual, bum, bum, and she wasn't bum, menstrual. Bum, it was bum, consensual, lovely sex. Bum, bum. Ugh, these guys are good. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's, uh, the, that's the best radio we've got. Next that, I guess it loses something in the translation. No, we understood oh, every word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> literal Jim, I that's suck. Okay, literal Jim. <laughs> no, it was English. Oh, you should kick me in the teeth with the, the inappropriate bell on your foot. I'll give you a Halloween pass. <laughs> One more clip. Well, Bruce Campbell's on. Uh, yeah, we're going to oh! have Bruce on uh, the show. In a, He's a funny yeah, guest, A little man. later, right? I like Bruce Campbell. I like him a lot. And, uh, because, and you could tell that I like him because I uh, brought in things for him to sign. Ooh. I should have. And I never, never do that. that. Bubba Bub Hotep is anything. one of the greatest things ever. Oh, uh, yeah. Bubba what Hotep. is? Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep. It's a movie oh, he I made. Love that one with Elvis. Yeah, it's the thing where right. Elvis, a uh, uh, Elvis ghoul, like come to life is uh, uh, with a with a mu and a mummy are trying to solve a crime. <laughs> like it just makes no, no, no sense. No, no. It's or Elvis, it's like, Elvis is in a retirement home. That's what it is. He's in JFK, a retirement home. And JFK is now black. Yeah, because they fake. It's Ozzy. Ozzy. They... What's his name? Ozzy Black. Ozzy Nelson. Ozzy or... Nelson. Right. And the two. Oh, no, no, no. Ozzy Davis. <laughs> Ozzy Davis plays Ozzy Nelson. Plays John. Old guy. <laughs> Ozzy Davis plays John F. Kennedy. And Elvis and the black John F. Kennedy go after some vampires on a hunting spree, and 
Well, is this films, a documentary? The film, yeah, the film's <laughs> taken slightly serious, like they're yeah. not doing a spoofy type no, thing. No, it's really actually, good. Actually, it couldn't be a spoof. What would it be a spoof yeah, of? Exactly. All those All Elvis those, yeah. killing <laughs> na- yeah. Nazi... Mm-hmm. Is it worth watching? It's t- a complete. Yeah, it's, it's great. great. Oh, hell yeah. it's really, great. it's a great right. film. Danny gives it a thumbs up. Oh really? He's the my, um, no. Danny's it's two guys who live in an old age home, and one of them thinks he's Elvis, and the other guy thinks he's John F. Kennedy. Now, now oh. a black man whose brain. <laughs> no, no, was... no, they don't think they are. They are. Well, you know. Yeah. I think you find it at the end they are. They actually thanks are. Thanks for spoiling yeah, it. He ruined uh, it. I don't think. Well, we'll talk to Bruce Campbell about this movie a little <laughs> yeah. later. One more clip. So then they called the uh, the voicemail back one more time. Uh, Ever since I was a little boy. Just say sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. I found a lot of bad things sorry. as a boy. No, don't sorry. Don't worry about it. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry, all right? Sorry. I'm so sorry that I had a difficult life. No. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry, it. Andrew. Just let it heal. Just Let's just take some time together. Look, we can no, meet up. He doesn't want to spend any time with you. Gal Garcia Morkablaka. It's making it worse. So, just say sorry. 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 Jonathan, sorry as well. Sorry. It was his sorry. idea. I was in. Wow. I just wanted to impress Jonathan Ross and I got swept anyone. up in it. Sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. Sorry about everything that's ever happened. You were good in the bill. Stop that. All right. All right. No, but bye. Do they do well over there? Um, Jonathan Ross is the most popular person on TV, and Russell Brand's the most popular comedian. What about it like the? That but radio who is show? it? They, why do they bother this guy? I know it's. I don't really, really get it. Still. They're really, really crapping on the head of a guy who didn't do, do anything. He didn't, with do, them. he didn't do. Or anything. to anybody else. Or to, yeah, and also, so what? You shagged his girl, the granddaughter. Yeah, like, get over she's it. She's an adult. She's allowed to have. Wipe sex. your penis on the drapes and be quiet about <laughs> it. boy, Louis, first dump, dump of, of the, the day. day. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Steve from Bay Show is actually pointing out. He goes, "That's two breaks so far." Without Louis oh, being dumb. Oh, he's a pie well, mouth. There it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay because compared to the old the days, was no good. problem. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's gotten as way long better. As the line's good. I now, don't care. <laughs> just to sum up this thing, Russell Brand gets fired. No, he he gets pushed before he ju- um he jumps before he gets pushed. Oh, he, he jumps before he okay. Yeah, so yeah Technically, he, 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 he leaves. He quit, and he quit. Jonathan Ross has been deducted twelve weeks' pay, which is two point four million American dollars. Jeez. What? That way, how come John Ross gets huh? to stay? When what? He, isn't he the first one? John, Jonathan, yeah, but Jonathan Ross is the is the biggest cash cow for um, the BBC. So they, what, they, what they, kind of it's, like, it's like firing what? Letterman or something. What kind of yeah. money was that? Yeah, what? Two point four million for a week. So for twelve weeks. Two point four for me for twelve, 12 weeks. weeks. Looks like twelve weeks. Looks like we're moving to England. Ed. Why? Oh. I, I was listening to that, and then you know, hearing that with the the pay over there. Ah. Uh, Hip hip cheerio! Oh, we can take <laughs> yeah. England by storm. No, I feel the, like the, going the, over the there. The thing is, he's the number one paid guy. But the thing is, you, you know, the BBC's ass. got no—it's got no commercials on it. It's like British TV; you got to pay a license for your television. Right? Yeah. It's ridiculous. What? You don't, you don't have a choice. It's like the mafia; they've put something in your house, so now you have to pay protection money on it. You, <laughs> yeah. don't, you don't have a choice. It's to the government. If you don't, they have they have vans that drive around the streets that can detect whether you have a TV in your house. And you got to pay a TV tax. It, it's yeah. called a TV license. It's not a tax. It's a license. Yeah. Holy mother of pearl. And it's about. I thought hundred... our taxes were bad. It's no, about... but they also have wow. something called. They have something really smart in British broadcasting and radio and TV called Watershed, which is just there's a certain hour of the night. It's like nine p.m. Nine p.m. You... and then bring out the tits. nine p.m. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely anything you want after you nine p.m. Oh, it's right. crazy. And, and sometimes it's funny. You might, you might be watching a show that starts at eight, it ends at ten, and the first half of the show won't have any tits. And like, hold on, hold on, hold on with that word. It's, oh. it's do you believe they dump they that? Right, hold they on, hold on, dead. hold on. I'm going to reset because this is way too good. Uh, we, don't, we don't have The 9 o'clock hour is called the what? Because I don't know what they wa- dumped out. It's called Watershed. Watershed. Then oh. anything goes starting at 9 o'clock, and that's when they break out the boobs. Bring Just out say the boobs. boobs. Bring out the boobs. They, but they'll literally have a yeah. show. Say whatever you want. Yeah. They'll have a show like a telethon or something that starts at 8 and ends in midnight. Oh, and for the first yeah. hour, nothing bad will happen. And then they start effing and seeing and bringing out the boobs and showing them. Yeah. Wow. Oh, whatever they want. Yeah, we have... In Britain, phone sex lines where you can ring the girl who's on screen, and on there's TV. like 20 of them, and they're all models. On TV? On TV. You can oh. ring the girl, and you can get her to move and around. You can tell and tell her to do oh, things. It's, it's, wow. it, all this stuff about the British being prudish when it comes to sex, wrong. No, no, they're oh, yeah, disgusting. No. They're they're never disgusting. said prudish, just uh, lousy at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, eating <laughs> halfway through and, and all that type of stuff, yes. Uh, why did they get fired? Uh, well, why were they... Being pressured over that. What rule do they break? 
Um, uh, it's not that great. Just an no, un- as far as radio, there's era. a few things in, in England like common decency. <laughs> it's not an actual law, but it should be. <laughs> but I, it should be. I heard they broke some kind of prank call rule, yeah. but there was they called an answer machine, and you don't even know if they actually put all that stuff on the answer machine. There's tricks in this business. Well, um, they, so why? Why? Well, the the, th- the thing is. They just picked on the wrong guy. Andrew Sachs is just beloved. And then the, Who the, knew? the Prime Minister. The hell knew? The Prime Minister even got involved. And really? Just went, oh, it's not on. I love Faulty Towers. That was basically his argument. Why would the Prime Minister get involved? Well, because, you know, don't look at the economy. Yeah. Faulty Towers. He's in trouble. <laughs> It'd be if you, if you called our Art Carney and just started just saying horrible <laughs> things about his family. And his awful Harry and Tonto Oscar, yeah. which he never should have won because Pacino did Godfather 2 and got robbed. Oh. Same year. That's right. Well, you'd have That's to uh, have the uh, phone line break during a storm and fall over his tombstone in order to talk to <laughs> Who, Art who's Carney this? at this point. Yeah. Who's Art Carney? Oh, some wow. dead old the wow. honeymooners. Uh, remember uh, who's Nor- Norton? Norton. Yeah. Norton. Yeah. Norton. Oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Know, I know hey, the parodies Rocky of it. I never yeah. even got the greatest show. comedy yeah. ever. Yeah. Barney Rubble. Go get the DVD box set of the honeymooners, please. It's the uh, film version of the Flintstones. Yeah. All right, listen. Did he used to beat his wife in that show? Wasn't that the whole thing? No, I wish. The whole thing was she actually always got the upper hand on him. And he he would be very say, nasty to her. One of these days, Alice, which Bang. puts it in the perpetual yeah. pro- a future tense. Which yes, one of that. these days. Is Pow, be. right in the kisser, you b- b- yeah, well, I always assumed the time that was spent off screen, off camera, that fantasy time <laughs> in between episodes, mm-hmm. he was just beating the crap out sure. of her somewhere in the bedroom and giving it to her. Mm. Um, and she spoke Greek. Let's just say. <laughs> ah, Took French like, lessons. I'd like to know that. Yeah. We got to take a break. We got Gerard uh, Butler calling in from Rock and Rolla. Oh. And a few other films you might remember. Right-o. Right-o, right. And Louie, you're leaving us for a little while? What? I'm leaving at 820. Not, not Why? All right, we got you for a little yeah, while. You little stay while. the whole time always. My daughter's having a uh, Halloween parade around uh, her school. Exactly. Uh, what are you doing? So I'm going to go can and I see I it. I want to see her. It's not an I obligation. Should, I just want to see her costume. I'd like no, to don't, that's go not, if that's I not right. Could. What? That's not right. Don't sure. you stealing Jimmy Spitz. Gonna watch, my kid. Going to watch little kids I'd in like costumes walking around. Yes. I'd much rather do it than hang out here with you bunch of grown, hopeless idiots. Why would I want to not be with a bunch of kids in costumes? I agree. <laughs> That's that should be written Backwards. on your tombstone. Uh-huh. Why wouldn't I want to be with kids in costumes? Yes. <laughs> I got cancer to gums. <laughs> uh, that the hell? All right, Louis going to be at uh, Governors in Levittown. Jim Jeffries continues his run at Caroline's, and we'll continue the show next. Opie and Anthony. Another busy show. We're all getting rods looking at Pal Talk. Fantastic. Some nice stuff going on on Pal Talk today. Yep. Will some of these beauties be at the uh, Halloween party tonight? That's the question. Or are we going to be hanging with just dudes again? I don't know. Did that happen last year? Was it just dudes? Every gig we do, a bunch of guys. They check you for a vagina at the door, and if you have one, they refuse you entry. When I'm I'm on tour, when I used to be on the circuit, I used to get laid all the time. Now I'm off the circuit and just doing theaters and stuff. No, my audience is all men. Oh, really? Horrible. I'm making more money and getting successful and getting laid less. Yeah, it's a price to pay. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> we got uh, omelets being cooked. Because uh, who's who's cooking the omelets, Jimmy? Just because I, 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 I know, I like I'll how be... you say it. I will no reason. Duck I will only... duck Huh? I will remember. <laughs> okay. Jimmy will give you the plug in a second, and he'll do it properly. Don't you worry. And it's Roland's last day. We were going to do a, a big thing with Roland and, and it being his last day, but now we got... Jim Jeffries and Louis C.K., so at this point, who gives a crap that he's leaving the radio show? Very sad. We got uh, more important things to do. And we got a huge star on the phone. Oh. Yeah, I guess Roland wants to go out in style, man, because he's he's getting A-listers finally on his last day. (laughs) (laughs) Gerard Butler. Are you there, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, Yes, 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 yes. yes. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Where are you calling from? Uh, probably about 100 yards away. You're uh, in New York? New York? Yeah, Chelsea. Why couldn't you come oh. up and just you're, hang with us? We've got like omelets few, and everything. You're a few blocks away. Yeah, why don't you <laughs> come up? I, I don't know. I, I, because um, that's a very good question. But I just ate my own omelet, and I'm, living, I'm sitting here eating oatmeal as well. But next time, I'll eat it with you guys. <laughs> See. <laughs> you having some, what, like a haggis? What is that what they <laughs> call it? Haggis. Uh, 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 
I love uh, haggis. Uh, yeah. I love it. Oh, wow. Sorry. Wait, you, eat, you eat haggis at two in the morning. Wait, what is fried. that? Yeah. It's, it's like it's got oats and a bit of beef in there and stuff, and it's mm. cooked in a sheep's guts, and then you can eat it. Diff- a haggis pizza. Oh, really? Oh, good stuff. Get into mm. it. Good stuff. Right. Edinburgh Festival. I, I live off the stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, Roland said that you were a big fan of our show, and uh, when I read this email, I'm like, wow, is Roland blowing smoke up our butts? <laughs> I bet you never even heard of us. What is Roland doing? No, I've, I've, uh, no, I've totally heard you guys, and I've listened to the show, and I've even watched your, your little kind of animated pieces on the on my iPod. Ooh. That 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 is freaking me out right now. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> We learned the, we learned on Roland's last day that he isn't full of crap. That uh, that's mm. amazing. Because that's exactly what he wrote. I'm like, I got to call out uh, Roland today, but it's it, really you watch the stuff on the iPod. Uh, yeah, I did. But listen, maybe he is full of crap because he knows how to do. Because he also said those guys are huge fans of yours. You're going to come on the show. Well, it's <laughs> and true. I think well, you probably haven't heard who I am either. So. It, it, you know what? It, it's just, I, I know we, we'll, we'll get to the new movie, uh, uh, of course. Rock but, and Roller. Uh, but I've watched the 300. I've watched it. I, it's got to be friggin' 15 times. Yeah. The movie's fantastic. No, and it's all him. It's not well, even. It looks great, but it's really the, watching that guy being that intense. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just not taking it. Yeah. If I may, uh, watch the language. You don't take any guff in that movie. No. Oh, let me tell you. No, that's because I eat haggis. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Uh, hey, hey, Gerard, it's Jim Norton. Um, so Ludacris. Is- <laughs> good, he didn't say. Uh, oh, Jim. Yeah, good. So uh, Ludacris is also in this film coming up. He is. Yeah. yeah. Um, which film are we talking about? Rock and Roll. Yes, he is. Ludacris is in every film I do at the moment. I just finished another movie, Game, uh, um, and Ludacris was in that as well. I think that he's uh, following me around. Yeah. Do you have Whatever. to? Did you have to uh, uh, keep in, in the shape you were in in 300 uh, for these other roles? <laughs> um, the second one, Game, uh, yeah. which is kind of an action flick I had to get in some shape for, but I, I never have had to or ever will um, be prepared to, again, get in the shape that I got into 300. That was ridiculous. Yeah, that was... Like, to watch that, it's like any guy that watches that just goes, I suck. As a yeah. human being, I, I do not have a human being's the, the body that you're supposed to have as a human. Those were like every every one of the 300 were, were cut yeah. like that. That was crazy. Yeah. I listen, can I just say any guy that uh, watches the movie 15 times definitely sucks. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something. Your, your abs there, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... No, uh, Nah, that's a huge compliment. You watched it. There's 300 abs, uh, 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 300 guys with abs. If you do the math, I guess that's what three, six, nine, twenty-four hundred, eighteen, <laughs> eighteen uh, hundred abs. No, you got to have it. <laughs> now it's all about the eight pack, uh, yeah, no, it's not, not the six, six pack. pack so you might have to read what there is. Yeah. So what was that like in the gym? Just forget. Had to be like every day for what? Fifteen minutes. Um, uh, not 15 minutes, but it was a long time. I'd say about 12, 12 minutes. 12-minute yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. workout, a quick uh, thing with the, uh, what would you use, that uh, that uh, little thing, the thigh master? Yeah, that's An Abersizer. <laughs> <laughs> An Abersizer, yeah, one of those things, the Bowflex. It works abs the core. Steel. It's not abs anymore, it's your core. It's oh, your, your core. You've got to work yeah. the whole core. Please, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Whatever. It was actually it was a whole body suit just made of foam latex. So. <laughs> oh, that was it. Okay, good. That yeah. makes me feel a little better. Hey, uh, <laughs> Gerard, I gotta tell you, uh, nothing but props for beating up uh, the the paparazzi guy. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Well, thank you. I, he probably doesn't want to talk about it, but you know, these guys tend well, to get a little uh, a little uh, too, yeah, too did much. He punch a, did he hit a guy? He might have. <laughs> well, what yeah, kind of stupid have, paparazzi? I cut my knuckles from. From that incident, uh, <laughs> oh, he tried awesome. to punch you in the fist yeah. with his face, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. he, he attacked me with, with three of his teeth. Which, <laughs> really, 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 but, I mean, uh, was, was one of you guys about to say what kind of guy would would chase home the guy from three hundred? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, why, who the of hell would get after this guy and and try to give him? A hell like that and, and, and be an ass. The paparazzo was uh, chasing the limo, and uh, you know you weren't going to have any of that. No, it was a red If only light. Diana no, could fight like you. There was nowhere else to go but out the back of my car and into his car. What? Yeah. Did, <laughs> so he got out and he punched the guy in the mouth. What did you? Do you know how many people in Hollywood probably wanted to do that? I mean, what did you just had enough, right? That probably hassled you enough times, and you're like, the next guy that does this, I'm going to punch him in the face? Or was it just a complete reaction in the moment? 
I, it was a very much a reaction in the moment, but if I was to look back in it, then, then, um, yeah, I think it was a build up of. I, I mean, I was being, ch- you know, he was going, I was going round blocks. I didn't want to go home. I didn't want to borrow me home, so I was on the bus. He just wouldn't leave me. He was going through red lights um, just to keep up with me. So eventually, it starts to get a little bit claustrophobic, and um, I guess. Uh, I guess the uh, Braveheart came out. In the, um, <laughs> I, I won't. Uh, Braveheart, the 300s. What am I talking about? The 300s. Yeah, Braveheart. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's very sad that I just said Braveheart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's also very sad I just answered that question because I'm sure that any court case that was pending is now going to go against me. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna make you uh, make us give up this tape. Well, Gerard, what was his? Well, re- actually, charges were dropped. Can you believe it? That the, pros- oh. the prosecutor threw out the charges because you know for that very reason. That, oh, that uh, means other guys are gonna be punching on. the paparazzi now. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, now they're like vultures. Oh. bunch of vultures. Well, they do this thing now where I watch them doing it to to seal, where they'll start yelling at you like they're fans, so they can't be accused of harassment. They'll be like, "Hey, Gerard, big fan, love your stuff." And this way, you can't say they're harassing you because they're acting like fans. Yeah, and then they don't always even do that. They don't always bother with that because they know they can get away with murder. So sometimes they just go straight into the taunting. Because, you know, for them, I guess, for most, by the way, it's not fair to lump everybody in the, in, the, in the same boat because, you know, some of them are awesome guys, but some yeah. of them are just out to make a buck and not buy a regular photograph. The, the only photograph that's worth anything to them, I guess, is uh, mm. a photograph where... You're actually having a meltdown. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what they want. Yeah, and then they're like, yeah, we did it. We ruined <laughs> this guy's life. Awesome. <laughs> Bunch of- Ass. Some of that footage is fun to watch when you guys do the meltdown, but you know when you're a fan of the person, then you then you're on their side for punching the paparazzi in the face. So, yeah, I gotta ask yeah. you, how good did it feel in that second? When 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 the fist connected and just the, the anger at the paparazzi in general, I mean that must have really felt wonderful and vindicating in that just in that split second. Yeah, well, it was um, three punches, so each one. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, right, well. um, oh. And and a foot in the car, which caused an X-ray about um, about a week ago. Um, <laughs> oh, you kicked the car? Like, got, yeah, because I I kind of kicked his car as well. I, um, I. I had to go for an extra because I, I thought, oh, I had a sore toe for about four days, but then I trained on top of it, and then the whole thing swelled up. And, and literally, I thought, you know, maybe God was on my side because I got away with it. But then when my toe swelled up, I thought, no, maybe he was a good guy, and I'm the one in the wrong, you know, because now I've got a broken toe. But, um, <laughs> you were the right. You were right. Yeah. I, How did somebody not just back down from the look? Like, you could have just done that slow over-your-shoulder look and then given him the eyes. <laughs> and just, the guy would just run away or something. How do you sit there and get punched by this I, guy? Jesus. I tried it, and then I realized that my windows were tinted. And they couldn't actually <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the United Stars with tinted windows. <laughs> Who knew? Guys, we got a wrap. Okay. Oh, oh come on. It. We have a, we're, he's obviously doing a yes. phone tour, but uh, yeah, right. uh, we had just we, they have to wrap up. But uh, Gerard Butler is uh, obviously uh, in, in rock and roll. It's in theaters today. Today's actually opening day. It's- yeah, um, yeah, so today's going wide, so I think it goes into about Wait, 800 cinemas. Today. Trailer so, looks cool, Yeah, man. Gerard, I know you have to leave, but just, just for the audience, what's the movie about, you know, really quickly so we get that out there? <laughs> I guess I'm going to be asked this. Listen, it's a Guy Ritchie movie, so anybody that knows Guy Ritchie, you know, that smash lock, stalking through smoking barrels, yep. I don't mm. think I need to explain anymore. You asked me awesome. to explain the, the uh, plot of a movie like that. Um, yeah. But just say it's a bunch of fun. It's a it's a hilarious, cool as hell movie. Yeah, he's a he's a friend of the show, yeah, Guy Ritchie. So up. right on, man. Hey, you oh, gotta stop. You gotta stop by because there's so much else we want to ask you, and you know we could have a lot of fun, man. Yeah, it was nice yeah, having I you will. on. I will too, definitely. And is this Roland's last day? Yeah. Yes, we we hate that it is. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, it is. Uh, he is the coolest guy, by the way. I have to say, I like Roland. Yeah, because we both went to go see Will Ferrell's um, show together. Hung out. He's the, he's the nicest person ever. Roland's the, the, three, awesome. Roland's the 300 pounds. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't imagine two different bodies standing next to each other. <laughs> and that, uh, he sends you the sweetest emails from time to time that are just like, walking along New York, just saying, how you doing? All right. Sorry about the paparazzi thing. Hope you're good. 
And they're like, you know, they're so unlike anybody else's emails, but they're so nice. She just go, oh, what a great guy. <laughs> That's so uh, cool. Roland is a kook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is a little nutty. <laughs> no, That's but, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I saw Rock and Roller three times. It's awesome. So I would cool. see him. Right on. Go, guys. All right, yeah. Okay. Hey, thank you, man. Take care, man. Good luck with the movie. Thank you, guys. It was great talking to you. All right, Gerard. Right. We'll, we'll get you again. Gerard Butler, everyone. He's, yeah, I'm he's sure, like I'm, a really cool guy. He is. I'm sure serious. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we How probably great? won't get him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh. Shots, how was great bad. was it, nice. by the way, though? How nice. great was it to have a celebrity talk about the incident that never happened? Yeah, how great was it? The guy's like, yeah, this is what happened. It was, the, And he's not being yep. a typical, phony, boring celebrity. He's he, great. He was going to come in, but he has to go film a movie in like uh, 45 minutes. Yes, uh, hey, look, he called in. He was great. No, but he'll come in, though. That's why Lewis left. Because there's a rumor he was dating Jennifer Aniston. I want to get to the bottom of that. There are some other things, too. But he, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah? I know. Yeah. I know right, well, well, go and tell us some other things. They all love Roland. No. I that know, just that's surprised why. me that he, you know. He was so cool. Yeah, Roland, like, you have no, no reason. And he kind of did know of the show. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when, when we hung out, cool. I... Turned him onto the show, That's gave him all the stuff. What clips yeah, did but he you, watch? you can tell anyone to say that they've no. watched the cartoons exactly. on their iPod. Like, no, but, he didn't make reference to no, a particular but in one. His defense, hey, though, stop. I, him... I feel good about that we for do, a second. Yeah. Let me feel good about myself. Yes, you guys are very popular. It's a very good show. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're all doing a very good job. Oh, boy, Thank Jim. You. Yeah, there's oh, there's not other it. radio shows going, Jocktober, let's listen to what these fools say. <laughs> <laughs> I got scolding hot coffee, my friend. I give him. Oh, here we go. Here Here's a guy who's allegedly afraid of bananas. <laughs> Let's see what happens there. I forgot I've never about threatened that. you with a banana. No, with the bananas, right. <laughs> yeah, we, we've left uh, you alone with the bananas. No, you were very good yesterday. Okay. No, very, no bananas very, for you this time around. You were very good. Uh, yes, Roland. No, I was just saying I gave him the XM NO so he could listen to the show, and he became a fan. He's, that's why he emails back and forth. I would love to get him on the show. You're seems, pen pals with it. like a good hang, man. I, I'm very sure cool. the, the new person. No, I don't think so. Do you, unless if they have his personal email and phone number, I'm sure they could call him. Do you have that stuff? I do. I'd like it. Yeah, no. Hi, Jer. Jim Norton. That's click. Click. I love that when you said, hi, it's Jim Norton here. It's, and the it, silence. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Just the silence of a guy who was allegedly a fan That's of the show. That's normally the silence. That's why I do it. <laughs> no, it's, it's a great bit. Because sometimes they know, and then we get really mad. And then when they don't know, we're very happy. The, I know. They're all It's a together. great. It's, a, it's an awesome bit. It works both ways. It's a little... It's a little game we play with each other. 90% of the time, that's what it is. Hey, it's Jim Norton, and I could have just as easily have said, do you like cinnamon toast? Yeah. Oh, I do like cinnamon toast. Every once in a while, though, a mm. big star knows Jim Norton. And it's, oh, it, yeah, it annoys me. You annoys can't live me. with the guy at that point. It's, and it's pure jealousy. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I just get jealous of that. All right, Roland's last day. Hey, you, you enjoying the omelets there, Roland? Yeah, they're very delicious. All right, and uh, <laughs> uh, what's the plug delicious. for the omelets there, Jimmy? Um, If, if you... Would like an omelet like this, and I will say they were very, very good. They were good. Uh, in Weehawken, uh, there's a little place called Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. <laughs> Difficult to say quickly, but fantastic food. I've eaten in many of them. They're all over the country. Hey, and it has and to it be acknowledged. And the steak is really, yeah. really good. Jim Jeffries had a great line in that interview. Uh, too bad. <laughs> A lady die, couldn't fight, or whatever you said. Yeah, that was very good. Oh, okay. thank you. Are you reminding me that I've done a good one joke? Today? No, it was very good. <laughs> was very oh, great. Oh, no, we're all very good. You run a good show. It was. Well. It was very, very funny. Ah, but Jim, you know there was no need to go there. I mean, get the poor lady. Yeah, <laughs> let her rest lady. in peace, my friend. <laughs> Roland's uh, last day, we put a, together a little montage of Roland singing over the last uh, couple of years. I'm sad yeah, that Jim. Roland is leaving. I'm yeah. going to miss you, Roland. I really, I, I love you on the show. I'm going to miss the show, too. I'm going to miss you very much. And whoever places me can suck my balls. <laughs> 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 I, 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 hear, he I hear it's quite a cute girl replacing you, so yeah, uh, that'd be nice. Yeah, C word. Wow. C -word. Oh, right. wow. <laughs> Rolling. C word. We still ha have hope we can bring it back on board. You know. Jesus, the new person's going to get a hard time, yes. aren't they? Yeah. They didn't even listen to us. We we pleaded and, and said, look, this is something that really helped the show over the years, and I hope you know what you're doing because. How long have you been with us? They Roland? got their own booker. It's a whole thing. Because someone's, someone's like, why don't you just pay Roland? And we can't even do that. It it's a work. whole involved thing. Believe me, we would if that was that simple. You think we wouldn't pay? Of course we would. So. How long have you been with us, man? Because before Roland. Four years. Like three and a half years. <sighs> yeah. yeah. It was hard before Roland to get guests. And then then this magical, sweet boy. Mm -hmm. uh, came on and uh, helped the show tremendously.
Yeah, that was what the show was missing for many years was uh, the guest angle. We used to get, like, the C-listers, yep. some of the people on their way up, and then on their way down. That was it. We never got the guys on top like we did today. Mm. This guy's on top, this Gerard Butler. And Roland was the greatest d- diversionary guy. Like, when, like when somebody was supposed to come in they couldn't, he'd be like, I, they, they're on set. But Roland, it's Christmas Eve, I, I, but it's it's New Zealand. <laughs> he just sold it. And you're like, all right. <laughs> got to believe Roland. All right, we put a mu- we got a lot of clips. Maybe we'll play a few of the clips. Yeah. We got his first appearance on the show. We can really. Take break. Oh yeah. The famous, uh, you know, how he mispronounced, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe some of the fights that Roland had. I mean, he took on everybody. This guy's insane, Jim Jeffries. But first, a little montage of just some of the songs he sang for us over the last few years. Gonna play back a few Roland clips in a minute here, but. Um, OP to Anthony, by the way. Jim Jeffries, Caroline's, and uh, Norton's got so much going on, I don't even know where to begin. You should just throw them to your MySpace and let them figure it out, Jimmy. The only one I'll give MySpace. them right now. MySpace.com slash Anthony Cooms. No! That's, right. that's not helping. That's right. N-T-H-O-N-Y-C-U-M-I-A. That's how you get to, uh... yeah. The, um, my DC going? tickets go on sale at 10 o'clock for December 5th. I was going to ask you if you're how, tro- how trolling. How are you that you have to say the time that they go on sale? Ticketmaster, because you want a good on sale, and we're heard uh, all no, over the No, but I country. mean, that's good that you go at 10 o'clock, because if you ring up at 12, they might all be gone. I think that's excellent. Yo, it's, it's, it's actually a, like a 500-seat theater. It's not a massive theater. So, right, yeah, right, I've right. always sold out there. Me and uh, me and Jim were talking about, because he goes, what, what are you, one of those gun nuts? <laughs> gun nuts. And yeah. I just said, yeah. I just said, yeah. You know, I go, I love my guns. I... I Whenever I, uh, whenever I'm bored, I just go out and buy a gun. Mm-hmm. You know, I buy a new gun. I'll go to the gun store. I'll go to the range, fire off some shots. And uh, uh, Jim Jeffries was like you're saying, "You, you could I, I could have. I'd, I'd top myself. Yeah, there, there's no way I wouldn't kill myself if I had a gun. Like not not every day. It's only a, it's only a once in a lifetime thing, isn't it? But I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, you can only do that once. Yeah, I don't, but if I get really upset, or I'd, I'd shoot me girlfriend or me. If I had one in my house growing up, one of my brothers would be dead. You'd have killed him. One right, of them. We would somehow. have had a fight. I, I clubbed one of them with a golf club, right? <laughs> and this is a brother I love. If I had a gun and something that that instant, yeah. no, no, I couldn't. I couldn't handle it. See, that some people day. like that, they, you know, and that's and that's very responsible of you to identify that, and know that. And I once stabbed one. myself in the thigh with a compass when I was at school. Oh. Yeah, not like a directional one. No, like one of those old, circles, you know, drawing yeah. nice round circles. Just feeling a bit down. I'm not really a self-harmer as such. I've never really been a cutter. But I, yeah. I did stab me. Yeah. You stab it? How deep? Pretty I good? I just went, yeah, I was just born in school. Just rammed it through me bloody leg. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I, I've, I, got, I had to get a tetanus shot. And then uh, uh, Jim was also saying that um, he Could, couldn't, couldn't have live one in of those house. houses. Couldn't live in a house that had a big spiral staircase where you have to walk up to your bedroom yeah. and there's like a banister and you look down, there's a chandelier in the middle and there's a marble floor like four stories down. Oh, you've been to Anthony's house. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> there's, 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 there's some of these houses in Britain. It's like, isn't this a beautiful house? Like you see them on cribs and stuff. I'm like, yeah. no way. I'd come in drunk and just go, what's the point? Um, <laughs> especially if you start doing that. I'm, I've got money, but I don't have love. Right? That would make it even sadder. That would make it even sadder. What's the use of money if I haven't got someone to share it with? <laughs> and then I would, I would Big die. Big lonely house, yeah. yes. Oh, is that echoing back off my marble floors? <laughs> That's what I was talking about the other day. Sometimes, sometimes I just like, because uh, I was in a relationship for uh, eight years. Right. And then uh, she decides, you know, eh, I don't want to be in this anymore. So she kind of takes off. And I got this giant house that was empty we had lived there for a couple almost a couple of years and she just really didn't do anything neither did i but you know she was home all the time didn't do anything to like really get it filled up with furniture because once you have a nice house you got to fill it up yeah, yeah, yeah it takes a while so the right, right when she broke up uh when when she left i uh, uh got somebody in there to, to decorate it get furniture curtains the whole schmear mm. go in the back put a pool in i mean i just went bull crap on everything i need i wanted i wanted everything and then uh, things get started. They start moving. And I was saying the other day how sometimes I'll just walk around and be like, "What? What am I doing? <laughs> like, what am I doing? I, I don't. I go to the fridge, open it up, grab another beer, just and then just sit down at the computer for oh. a while. And yeah, I'm just walking around going, I'm, I'm, "What am I doing? I have this flat in London. It's only a one bedroom flat, but my girlfriend left me. And I was left alone." 
uh, in this flat, and and I, I sort of go away on tour for three months, and I come back for a month and just sit there, right? <laughs> and this might sound terrible. I got mice in the flat. It was fantastic. It gave me a hobby. I didn't. I, once I killed them all, I was slightly depressed. You were, there was like four or five of them. You were hunting. I, I killed one of them with a tennis ball. I swear to God, with a tennis ball, the greatest sporting moment of my life. Yeah. You can see from my living room down to the kitchen, and I saw him run from underneath the washing machine, underneath the fridge, and I went, "Come on, come back, friend." And I stunned the little bastard. He rolled, stunned, and everything. I laid there as he was sort of dazed, and I smashed his head in. It was. <laughs> It was a tremendous day. I had to ring someone. I got him with a tennis ball. Yeah, I got him with a tennis ball. I don't even play tennis. Why was there a tennis ball in my house? I don't even have a dog. It's like I picked it up somewhere. Like I, I foresaw that this you was know. going to happen. Uh, like if, if you got that on YouTube, yeah. that would be a hit. That oh my god, look someone, at this guy. Someone, fake, so fake. <laughs> I, I got him. Somebody with a you could see the string pulling the mouse. And this is how lonely I are. I had to ring my mum to tell her. Mum, mum, I hit him with a with a tennis ball. She goes, you got mice? That's how the plague came in. It's not good for you. That's, pro that's probably why you, you scratch yourself all the time. I'm not scratching myself. You got fleas. No, I never said I got fleas. <laughs> hey, you also said that you have a great suicide. Oh, yeah, because yeah, he was saying you have the suicide house. He yeah. doesn't want to live in that, but I do. I have, like, the, the, that nightmarish house for you then because uh, it does have a staircase. You can throw yourself off the balcony onto marble. Uh, it's got like a, a balcony that you can hang yourself. I on. have to stop you right here. Do you do realize if you ever kill yourself, this is the clip they're going to play on the? Oh, news. they'll play this. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. You could, well, you could, you know, quickly just shoot yourself because you know I do have the gun. I'm going to give odds to the people at home on which one he's going to do in the which future. Which method? Drowning, because I got the pool in the back. Drowning's hard though. You got to tie. I've thought about drowning. That's a I've rough thought about that. You got to tie weights to your limbs, and that's a oh, lot the, of effort. The the moment though that you're like, all right, this is it. I got to breathe in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's gotta hurt. No, it's hard. I think gun to the head. Breathing in water. Oh. You ever just? Yeah. You ever drinking water and it goes down the wrong pipe and you're just? Ah, oh God! Ah. Imagine just the thought. Full lungs of water just and being your nose. inhaled. That's gotta hurt. It's gotta suck because just... you can't physically drown yourself if you know how to swim unless you tie weights to yourself. Yeah, anyway. your own self-preservation mechanism. Your, your, your body will. Your people body do will hang themselves in. though, uh, where they could get up if they wanted. Yeah. But like, yeah, people hang themselves. Oh, they kind of kneel almost. Yeah. They're standing there well, with the news. You're and they talking slowly... the, the Michael Hutchins off the off the door. They knob. show. Mm -hmm. the, what they do is. Really there. You know what it is? I don't think they want that broken neck, kink, <laughs> and I don't think they want to sit there and kick their legs. So they slowly go down, cut off the blood supply, so, so you pass, pass out, out okay, first, no. and then you'll just put the rest of the weight on your neck, and you'll be oh, you know, right. dead. Okay. Jimmy, we saw that, right? What? Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, Where? it's really. Okay. Uh, Where'd Where you put her? Uh, you cut no, her up? No, just say we saw that. What do you mean you saw that? Uh, that's all we can say. We just. Oh. It was. Uh, oh, okay. It was creepy. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, it's just you don't be telling this is creepy. I don't know what you're talking about. We, that's all I'll say. We're in a hotel. Uh, no, you know, sometimes we don't have to explain things right away. That's right. Maybe a couple people. Remember this break that Jimmy and I saw exactly what you described. That's and all the say. answer is lingerie. The answer will be uh, someday. <laughs> I have fine cutlery that you could uh, yeah, go for every, your wrist. Every, I've got a lot of things I could stab myself with. Yeah. But I'm just not really. I'm, I haven't got the guts for that. Yeah. Try, but you think uh, you would have the guts to put a gun to your head? I think I think I could do that. I think yeah. I could. Yeah, that's the one I could do. That's at a moment. That's one an easy yeah, one. Yeah, at one down moment because it's so fast. What about yeah. the fire pit? You forgot about the fire pit. Fire no pit. one's dumping themselves on a fire pit. <laughs> well, there's, there's some I, crazy I was, Hindus. I always like has it. has one dead guy in the fire pit already. Yeah. I always like it whenever there's like a burn victim on the news <laughs> and the news reader goes like this. They have escaped just with their life. They Maybe go, you didn't hear they, me. They're alive, <laughs> but they've been burnt beyond recognition, right? You ever see? a burn victim most recognizable person in a room the, the term the term should be burnt to recognition <laughs> that's that's one of my bits but it's still good it's still worth oh, <laughs> you know him every time you see him yeah, yeah. this We're, is my friend steve no one used to notice him at parties but since the accident yes. he's gone from plain to extra crispy and girls hug him out of pity <laughs> do you know i saw the worst footage i've ever seen in my life was on uh on the line recently it was uh it was a, an Islamic uh, execution, and it was three guys, and they set up. They, they, they One took cup. A, <laughs> <laughs> they, they took. They had a, a flaming pit, like your fire pit, but in the dirt, a big pit of fire, and uh, they were there. You know, and I, uh, they were reading whatever, 
And they, there's three. Shut up. Three guys on their hands and knees, Savage. tied with their uh, blindfolds on, and they're being doused with gasoline by these guys. And then they just push them backwards into this flaming pit. Oh, and that was God. how they actually... Sparta! <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a hell of a way right, to go. I just see, what's one of, what's one of, that's one of these backwards things that, like, fire. they'll go on as traditional or something like that. Are they was kicking? it really with the petrol? Was that traditional? Yeah, yeah, traditional. You know Were they I mean? kicking and screaming for a little while? They didn't show. They just did. It was just a big flaming... Did they serve with some hummus? <laughs> <laughs> and some pita. Yeah, some hummus. <laughs> you would take a beheading <laughs> yeah. of that. Over burning wow. to death in a Over pit. Burning. An infidel kebab? Dude, yeah. burning or sawing the head off beheading? Sawing the head off. That's a rough I don't mind one of those Hassan chop, like, quick, yeah. you know, off with the head kind I of thing. Like, yeah, I like but it halal. that's sawing... No, you got to go with the burning. That's you have no, to. Burning, burning alive. Burning alive for beheading. Yes. No, I would no. take Over beheading. A slow, it. The, the, a slow beheading. It's not that, that slow. It's not. It is slow. The, You've seen the videos. The fire go. will take out your nerve endings, but hopefully no, no, faster no, no, than, no, no, a, no. than a sword I, I, slowly I, going through no your neck. I think within ten seconds of the sword, you'll pass out out of pain. Ten, ten seconds you know. of the fire, you're out. I've seen them. You don't. Yeah. They try to breathe the whole time. I see. I smell bit. What we do this? Yeah, let's see. What <laughs> let's see All if right. the lawyers will sign off. Somebody yeah. who's really sick. Someone let's, actually. I want. I want. It's about time you come back to me. Stump. Right on. We're doing this. Stump brain. I want you to actually approach the lawyers yeah. with this one. We approved. Tell him. Like we, in Shawshank when he gives the speech. Tell him for his parole. Anthony, tell him. <laughs> they approve him. That's what it is. We'll give this outrageous bit and no, they'll no. just approved. But tell the lawyers that, that we found someone. They're going to kill himself, and they yeah. want to do it for the show, and they'll write away everything so no one gets sued. And we want to know. And we you want can to sell it. What's yeah, worse? Yeah. Yeah. We have two people. That, that yeah. two we people. want to know what's worse: beheading slowly or burning to death. Offer a prize, though. <laughs> to who? The next to, to, to their family. Yeah, right, to yeah. the next okay. king. <laughs> right. Just offer them they get to be in the we'll, next stripper competition. We'll pay. We'll pay off their house for them. What? Yeah. You know, because so, uh, people are having a tough time. A lot of money. Thing. The, hey, uh, <laughs> I've seen the videos of all of it, and b b burning to death is horrendous. I mean, uh, beheading is awful. Yeah. But your whole body on fire. You don't die in two seconds. I, I showed you that video of the guy in the park who was on fire. Yeah, but he. he and they're trying to put him out. I mean, really literally for a minute, he's on fire. I mean, really on fire. Not like the old Bugs Bunny hot foot. Dude, he was on fire. His whole torso is burning. Did, did you ever yeah. see that footage of when they tried the terrorist attack on Glasgow Airport? You must have gotten this. I've seen the, uh, uh, the, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the truck. The guy uh, driving the truck uh, in. It's just brilliant. When the guy drives the truck in, he comes out of the truck on flames. Yeah. Some Glaswegian bloke says to himself, he goes, I don't think that guy's in enough pain. <laughs> Goes up and punches him. Like, like, wasn't the guy under control? He was punching a flaming man, going, you bloody terrorist, boom! That rolls. Like, that's the bravest guy in the world, is, and then he gets, like, a bravery award. It's like, the guy was under control. Is there a video of this? I think there is. I think oh, there's I a news story. Of the two, there's two of them. They went yeah. and punched the flaming man. Good. And in Glasgow, that just looks like a bad bachelor party. <laughs> like, that's not even... Not even yeah. a terrorist attack. It was just a guy in flight. No one got hurt. He just gets out. He's like, oh, my God, I'm on fire. How much worse could this get? Wham, he's punching yeah, me. Wait, he's not putting me out. Yeah, yeah. a Glaswegian's punching him, man. Did you see the footage of the terrorist, who, the suicide bomber, where it blew off one of his legs oh, in the bottom yeah. and he's still alive? Still alive. Old still hoppy. alive. Oh, half a bomb and he's still alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's his favorite restaurant? I hop. Hey. hey but you know, on. folks. <laughs> Uh, Roland's last day. Should we? If that's not uh, a of the day, I give up on this. How do you know that's his favorite restaurant? I don't even know if they have them over there. <laughs> Literal gym. <laughs> you spread lies. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Roland's last day. The guys put together a lot of clips. We yes. didn't get to a lot of them just Drop because something. we have so much going on today. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, we have Roland, the, the first time he made an appearance on our oh, show. Oh, let's hear that. I'm sure it was. With Danny, uh, Bana... Oh, that's right. He we we could either play that. We got. Um, is he still has around, a... Danny Bonitucci? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. I we, thought he'd be dead by drugs or something. Yeah. You would no. think. We also have him being just a complete psycho, mm -hmm. and we have uh, the you know when we tickled him. I say the first one we play. The first one. Yeah, because he couldn't say a certain word. All right, this is yeah. rolling. The first uh, first time he uh, was on air with us, and we realized we had radio <laughs> gold besides a good booker, a real good booker. A great booker. That's right. Terrible person. Terrible person, yeah. Awful range of <laughs> What's his name? Go ahead. Come on. Danny Bonatius. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you guys don't understand. This is what he does for a living. He's got to oh be in the know. Oh, my God. His name is what? Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> <laughs> Douchey. <laughs> right, one more try. It's uh, it's Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> <laughs> he is falling apart. <laughs> Can you say it now? By the way, yeah. I, I don't know now. That I heard this. Um, Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> oh my God. You got Danny wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Danny Bonaduce. Bonaduce. What? He can't Bonaduce. even say Danny anymore. So, who is it? Danny Bonaduce. There you go. All right. Danny is, Bell, is Richard Belzer wearing a costume on CN, uh, CW11? Look at his ears. He, no. he looks a like big a man. chimpanzee. <laughs> well, Richard Belzer looks like a chimpanzee. Or Black Girl's brother. Who's dressed as Howard Stern on the other one? Is that Howard? I think it is. Yeah. Kill All Media. Oh, my God. It is. The worst Howard That's costume bad. ever. It looks more like Gene Simmons. You, oh, you, you, you had to bring up Gene Slowly Simmons. I turn, step by step. What, you don't, like, you don't like Gene Simmons? Gene Simmons is a piece of crap. What a douche oh, he you, is. You didn't mention Gene Simmons. Oh, I've yeah. never had an opinion on him either Gene way. Gene Simmons oh, is a self-serving, sell-out douchebag uh, who is also a phony, a liar, and uh, a creep. Uh, but how do you feel about him as a person? He disrespected me personally. By trying to uh, pick up on my girlfriend, knowing it was my girlfriend, coming on my show, and then screwing with me about it without me knowing that he was trying to do this. My chick was all upset at the time because uh, he, he was I, like pinned her against the wall uh, pretty much and was, was uh, 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 being very uh, forward. Right. And um, it, yeah. And, and uh, then he comes on the show and, and I was like, oh, well, so what are you doing tonight? He goes, maybe I'll just... F your girlfriend. And I kind of laughed because I figured he didn't know who my girlfriend was or anything like that. But he did, and he was talking to her and trying to pick up on her like this old bat would do. Uh, just anything to try to keep his, his, his lousy ego going. Uh, and, and, and it was just, I'm broken up with her now, so I don't care if he just bangs oh, the right, hell out right, of her. Right, right, Whatever. Right. Give, her, give her a good one. Well, you know, that's, but, but at the time... It was nothing but sheer disrespect for me, and Gene Simmons can kiss my balls. Well, he can probably lick your ass at the same time. Exactly. Thank you. Is, uh, did I just get? That was a good we line. Got, we both got dumped out, oh. but I figured they heard it. it. Was, uh, they it heard was it on the okay. internet, Seriously. satellite. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about it. I, I just the the it was guy a Gene Simmons tongue joke. I right despise yeah, him uh, <laughs> for doing that to me because it was I, I took it took it very personally that he. Uh, he went and personally disrespected me uh, as I'm uh, as he's on my show plugging more of his kiss garbage, more of his kiss garbage. <laughs> what are you selling now? What are you selling now, huh? Kiss Geritol? Why don't you do that? Wrap the kiss logo around Geritol. Just call it Kiss Energy for ancient people. <laughs> and his stupid porno that he made. Did you see that? No. Did you see that anticlimactic piece of garbage that I'm, he did? I'm getting comfortable for the I don't. I don't. I, I. I don't like repeating uh, things and stuff. But it's the best way to d describe it. Like, do you ever see uh, a National Geographic when they show the old lion on his, his? It's his last like year as head of the pride, and he's nailing the lioness, and he just does that romp, romp, romp <laughs> kind of a mo motion. Vote That's McCain. Gene Simmons' porno. He doesn't know how to have sex with a woman properly and make her feel good. He doesn't. I'm sorry. I was watching the video and going, that has got to be the most unsatisfied woman ever. <coughs> but I'm Gene Simmons. Look at my tongue. I know how to stop. If you wouldn't use it half the time for yapping about some, some candy bar that's coming out or a credit card with the logo on it or who you're suing uh, for, for saying the word kiss. Jackass. I hear he goes to carnivals and has kissing boots closed. <laughs> That's my uh, band's name. It's Kiss. I don't. Uh, what? Uh, Jackass. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, you know. yeah. for bringing a, up Gene Simmons. That was a surprise you. for you, Anthony. Huh? That was a surprise for Anthony. What? Gene, come on in. Ah, That's good. Cool. Good. That would roll. let him come in. That would rule. Let him come in. That would rule. That ass. That lion. There is... it is. Look at that lion. That is the most lackluster lay that lioness has ever gotten. Ruh, ruh. Hello, 
How are you? Have you bought the Gene Simmons Kiss Coffin? Where are you going? Oh, they do sell coffins, don't they? Oh, of course they do. I saw that on the show. She just went to lay down after the lion gave it to her. That's what Gene should have been laying in when he had sex with that broad. <laughs> hey, maybe they thought she was dead. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right. Mm. Rollins last night. No, suffice to say, I'm not a Gene Simmons fan. No. Oh, he'll have a rebuttal. Will he? Yeah, he'll be brave enough to try to call the show. Or oh, yeah. You're going to lose this why one, buddy. So ang Why so angry, You're going to lose Anthony. this one. Why so angry? Uh, Roland's last day, the boys put Shill. together a, Shill. A, little, a little song remembering Roland. And then we'll do the plugs and we'll wrap up the show, okay? Roland. But uh, first, this for Roland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Roland, you get nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's your tribute. If, why would it work hey on Roland's last day? <laughs> hey Hold on a minute. Is it a kiss song? Huh? <laughs> yeah. For Roland, we. Uh, the oh, they're showing their they're showing their costumes. What is he supposed to be? A douche. Hey. It's on the news. All right. yeah, a douche. Crazy. I'm dressed as a douche. <laughs> we'll figure out the costumes as we play this for yeah, Roland yeah, and uh, the listeners who love mm. you, Roland. Uh, you're a dummy. Uh, For Roland, on his last day. That was lovely. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're a funny guy, Roland. Yeah. <laughs> Say retard again. Retard. Yeah. <laughs> retard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not a good day. Aww. The show will suffer. I don't That's care it. what they tell us. Yes, it will. Is, is we'll new, suffer. Is the new person funny? Have you met them? No, we haven't met him. You're going to give him a hard time, though, aren't you? Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a her. Yeah, if, you, if you're listening right now to the show. Well, you know, this yeah. business stinks. Now you never um, listen to the people that are in the know. Like, you don't us. come over with us. Is that it? Well, I have three more guests over there then. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Wait, three? <laughs> no, I mean, you No, you're, we're not talking about the omelet. I did, over. I you're did. You're coming too. over to... Ex <laughs> yeah, ex okay. I thought maybe we were just saying our goodbye and I that know. was it. And no, no more on the air at all. Or... Yeah. Well, for this side of the audience, yeah, this is it yeah. for Roland. Yeah, yeah no. that's it. So we have uh, over... Uh, going over uh, to the satellite, we have... Uh, Bruce Campbell's Bruce there. Bruce Campbell, yeah, he's already there waiting. Nice and oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah he's there. Gotta respect that. He's very excited. Well, we'll talk to him in a few minutes. We and should yes. uh, get all the plugs in. Yep. And Jim uh, your mom's box. Oh. Oh, he oh, did it. Oh, he did it. Oh, boy, he did it. Take his headphones. He's not allowed to say anything else now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Escort him out of the uh, studio. Damn. There he goes, rolling for the last time. Oh. There he, he goes. Spilled water he's like just it was trashing the place. Oh. Else. He just... <laughs> he just spilled water like it was something else. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, Jim Jeffries, we start with you. Caroline's. I'm doing Caroline's double bill, me and Gene Simmons, uh, Saturday night. <laughs> not no, tonight, though, because you're going to be not, at our Halloween tonight. party. I'm going to be at the Halloween party. So if anyone wants to meet me at the Halloween party, I'm the guy in the leather jacket with uh, out the costume. Right. Foreign guy. That's I will introduce you to everybody. I'm, I'm going to try to pick up one of your fans. Yeah? Yeah. This is my, this is my goal this evening. Which fat guy Mine are you too. looking for? I know. I, I, I'm, I, I expect I'll be sleeping with someone who looks like the comic book character from The Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> Hard Rock Cafe tonight, the Halloween party, seven to whenever. We fixed. Uh, we fixed that because yes. they were only going to give us like three hours, which is just dumb. That's just whack. stupid, right? And That's what else I we say. got? Uh, Norton, you got your tickets uh, going on sale for the DC area? December fifth, I'm doing the State Theater. Mm -hmm. It's right outside of DC in Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, Falls Church. It goes on sale one hour on Ticketmaster. I'm only doing one night. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess the book goes on sale Tuesday, Election Day. That's exciting, I hate man. your guts, and I'm doing a book signing Monday at Borders here in Penn exciting. Station. Yeah, man, I'm really that excited. That thing is going to sell. Is that the name sell. of your book? I, I hate, hope so. I hate your guts. Yeah. It's, yes. People are going to be talking about this book. The media is going to they, – they can't avoid this one. I hope so. Yeah, people will be talking about Norton's book. And then, Norton, because you do such a great job with the, the plug, the, the omelets were provided by who? I'll say – I'll give them Ruth's – Chris Steakhouse. Yeah. Aww. We hawk it. Right. Everybody, but everybody knows, even if I say Ruth's Chris, everybody knows it's Ruth's Chris. Yeah. And uh, it's fantastic. I mean, the uh, <laughs> steak was amazing. It was great food. And, and speaking of that, they don't, they don't really need the play. They're, they're like every other, they're like a major national uh, name restaurant. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, and uh, Ted, know. the ghost hunter or however the hell you say that uh coke logic made an animation it's going up very soon oh i can't wait i always it. hear that and then like three weeks later they're no, still so up. how about you put it up cl wow 
I don't How about know, that? I don't know if it's uh, today, but uh, it'll be up very when? soon. ONA Radio.com, Coke Logic's latest Why animation. Why is it going up, Gregory? will be Ted the Ghost All right, this Hunter. All right. Uh, See you tonight at a Halloween party. Man. Yeah, we're going to leave you yep. with Roland singing one more song for everybody. Brand new stuff. The last thing Roland did for us. Jim Jeffries, a pleasure, man. Oh, thank you. All right, we'll leave you with Roland singing. We'll see you guys soon. And for the people that are, you know, staying with us, we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, on. we're uh, back with the Opie and Anthony show. In studio, Bruce Campbell. Hello. Yeah, right here Good when morning. we get here. Yeah. Hey. Good morning. Back. Good morning. You were just sitting here by yourself as we were finishing... Uh, Finishing at the other joint. Yeah. In front of uh, you know, a festive the studio audience. Halloween the studio crowd audience. we have over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there they go. Look at oh, They're yeah, clapping yeah, like yeah. it's Wonderama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bruce reminded us the last time he was on the show, which is uh, way too long. 2001, yeah, I, I think. It was a few uh, years you know, ago. Yeah. A while ago. 2001. And what was happening for uh, Montana Gunn, mm -hmm. uh, the actress, so yes. with quotes, uh, was in your studio. <laughs> Uh, naked, as I recall, mm. and she was shoving ice cubes up her butt and projectile <laughs> shooting them out of her butt. <laughs> and I believe uh, you ate, you ate. The ice yeah, cubes. Jim Norton was eating wow, the ice cubes. Wow, that was the day, Jimmy. I didn't know Bruce yeah. was in for that. But it was fun to watch bit. Bruce just reach for my name and not be able to get it. He's like, it was that you. you. <laughs> yeah, but I <laughs> couldn't be happier. But I can tell you, the gross part was not spitting the ice cube out the butt it was you catching it yep. and putting it in your freaking mouth what's what's up with that <laughs> it was delicious oh. I, I, oh. I did that in thailand and then i got sick because they got bad water out there <laughs> yeah it was the water <laughs> that was the thing that was so, so bad. I, I guess that's a lesson to all the now, listeners do not catch an ice cube that's been projectile this, out of someone's mouth. Now, butt. that was on regular radio, and yeah. that was 2001. Just to bring you up to speed, yesterday we had a stripper, uh, strippers coming in and stripping. They weren't allowed to be uh, naked. So the rules have changed. Thank they, God have. For, they have. Thank God for satellite radio. I was telling Bruce, sometimes we listen to the replays, and we hear these bits, and we're like, there's no way we did, th did that on regular radio. <laughs> on regular radio, radio. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. now it's so uh, restricted, you can't do anything really. But here, hey. Uh, anything goes. So anything if you want to get naked and then whatever, shoot ice cubes shoot out ice your butt, cubes, whatever you want to do. I, I am naked right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can just tell the people exactly. that, and they'll, they'll believe it. And uh, Anthony, very excited that Bruce Campbell's in. We're we're all excited, but yes, especially Anthony because he brought in like an action figure. He got Anthony, the figure. He's got the big fat ash. The he, big he's fat ash, exactly. But Anthony never <laughs> yeah. brings anything in. He he rarely gets pictures with celebrities, but he was so excited and uh, and I'm not a I'm not a collector of things like that. It's not it's not, it has nothing to do with that because I'm sure you've seen the people that come with a pristine box and they're no, like, no, they get crabby too because it's if you don't sign it in the right place, right? You're right. an asshole. They go, you're, I mean, you're the asshole. Yeah, right? totally. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh no, I've had fucking a guy, ash. I've had a guy go, oh no, 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 not there. Oh no, 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 not there. Oh no, 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 not there. I'm like, dude, I, there's no word. show me. Yeah, oh, right, 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 right here. All right, okay. you know what? You sign it. <laughs> you sign it exactly. You sign it. Uh, yeah, so I, I have one of these. Uh, Big 18-inch uh, high fucking ash action figures. It's it's great. All articulated joints. I signed his thigh. His thigh yeah. is now signed. And the <laughs> thigh is signed with a nice uh, silver sharpie. And that thing, I, I took it out of the box. That's I'm good. not one of these, yeah. keep it in the box. Do the, take it out of the box <laughs> so you can display the goddamn now, thing. Now, what are you going to do with it? it? We're, we're, it, we're it that is yeah, going to take It's just lost a lot of value a, there. It's got no resale. Yeah, yeah no resale value now. None. It's going to take a place of honor in my uh, in my office Next now. to Hitler. Next to, probably hang, next hang to on, uh, some piece of Hitler memorabilia. You have or, an office? You should or, have asked uh, that, Bruce. No, actually, no, I do have an what office. What do you have an office for? <laughs> to jerk off to porn on the so, computer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a very nice, and expensive... Yeah, you guys, you got a quiet place to do that. <laughs> yes, right. you do. I understand. I look at my guns and not, not think about suicide. Because <laughs> look at me. I have no taste. I'm, I'm masturbating right now. Yeah, so and, and that's fine. I should uh, be using your office. No, not there. Not there. Not there no, not no, there. no, not, not there. There would be people that come in and want to scoop it up and go, eBay, oh. Bruce Campbell's jizz. His essence. Yeah, his <laughs> essence, his seed, if you will. His genetic signature. <laughs> <laughs> Good, some other jerk can play you can ask now. <laughs> yeah, you can just clone <laughs> people. You, uh, Halloween, of course. Halloween, New York City, you, uh, man. You don't get any crazier than that. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that parade. Do you? It's, it my, it's, a, my, it's my favorite opportunity because there's 4,000 cops on every corner. Yeah. It's coming up to him and going, 
I got to tell you, man, that is a great costume. <laughs> and, you know, some guys laugh and some guys go, get the fuck out of here. No hey, hey, that gun looks a, real. A yeah, that gun looks uh, really yeah. real. Go, go, and then go to grab for it. Is that real, yeah. Mace? <laughs> the only, I think... Uh, the with the parade, I think the only cop uh, that wouldn't be a real cop that's dressed up is the one you see w without an ass on his pants. <laughs> uh, the cheekless cop. Yes, it's the uh, the cop from uh, the village people, nice. perhaps. There was a cop in there, yes, wasn't there? Yes, Victor Willis, yeah, but there's... I think he was the only straight one, allegedly. <laughs> Felipe Victor Rose was Willis. the Indian, Jimmy as we all so know. Well. And I think that uh, they were all... Uh, but they were homosexuals, uh, Glenn oh. Hughes, and uh, apparently for, only yes. a guy that except would suck Willis. on an ice cube shot from a porn star's ass would know he would all know. the names. He would know. My father took people. me to see them when I was a kid. For uh, what reason? <laughs> um, I think he wanted to break some news to me as he, uh, you know, Just daddy's so. roommate. No, he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he took me to see them and the opening act was Sister Sledge. We are family. Oh, we are family. family. Yeah. yeah, we all remember that. There you go. Uh, That's of fantastic. Course. How, how, do you, how do you know that he wasn't the gay one, the cop? Because that was that was knowledge back then that he was a straight. He was Victor Willis was straight. He was replaced by another guy whose name like I don't Rock remember. Hudson and Freddie Mercury. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, they Freddie Mercury had a moustache. You idiot. You don't get more macho than that. He wore leather jackets. <sighs> he, he was as straight as they come, Mercury. <laughs> as I. Struck my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> my brother was so depressed about Rock Hudson. It was Bloody the greatest yeah. look on his face. I went, you know, Rock Hudson's gay. He went, no, he's not. <laughs> I went, um, no, he's like really gay, actually. Um, no, mm, no. Did you hear him? Do you hear him talk? Does he sound gay? No, he doesn't sound gay at all. But he's like really gay. Uh, no, he's not. No. And, no. Uh, uh, and then he died denial. of AIDS, and I went, mm, what do you think now? He goes, um, s n mistake, a bad needle from something. Hemophiliac? Uh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, someone, yeah. Was someone uh, John, whatever his name, John Shuck from Macmillan and Wife gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it was him. Doris Day had AIDS. She passed it on. We always know she was riddled. She was just, just used to fuck people and say, K Sarah afterwards. <laughs> Jesus. God. Yeah, there was a, we, uh, God, we, we would talk about, um, like Liberace would go on some of these talk shows and Regis <laughs> Regis Philbin is a guy who has no clue if someone's gay or not they'll come on the show and like years ago Liberace would come on and he'd be like so Lee you know because they could call him Lee all his friends Lee when are you gonna finally settle down and find a woman <laughs> the women love you Lee why don't you settle down I'm he just so busy I just finished reading a Cary Grant book and there was a point where Cary Grant and Randolph Scott were roommates they were both making five thousand dollars a day you know in Hollywood in the in the 30s wow nice we're, no we're bunking together to save money <laughs> we're just a yeah. couple of bachelors trying to you know make ends meet <laughs> 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 and then the newsreel guy well ladies these two men are free <laughs> all the time they're with each other always and looking for a fine l lady <laughs> really ah uh -uh, yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a story about two guys they were um what were their names? Elmer and, uh, Elmer and Gus. Gus. And Gus. One of our favorite stories And ever. they were uh, real <laughs> old. They were uh, in their 80s or something. And they finally were able to get married, I guess, in one of the states. And uh, they had been in World War II uh, together. And all I, uh, we could think about was uh, how the newsreel footage would be like, <laughs> they're home from war, ladies, and they're sure keeping their eye open for you. <laughs> You're just waiting for that salt, Peter, in their dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They hadn't touched a girl, even in France. <laughs> you know, just not having a clue. Their arms are around each other. Buddies till the Buddies. end. <laughs> yes. I'm sure during the war they had each other's backs. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a foxhole. <laughs> yeah. One foxhole for these two. Hey, Cary Grant was gay? Dude, I didn't know Cary that. Grant, uh, he, he sort of liked a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, I, didn't oh, know. I always go. thought Cary Grant was Cary, the ladies man. Cary Ooh. Grant, no, no. He, he would hang out with gorgeous women and drive them insane because he would not sleep with them. Ah. So right. he was gay. Oh, that's where I'm going. Yeah, because, <laughs> you know, he was with... Pretty much every leading lady, and yeah. for some reason they never managed to hook up. <laughs> <laughs> Love because, that voice. That's great. <laughs> because him and him and Randy I thought he were had doing kids the one and everything. Carrie yeah. Grant, didn't he? Yeah. He does, of course. But that's yeah, how you used to do anything. it in the old days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I the need kids, a child. I gotta get me a side. kid. <laughs> Nowadays they call it the DL. <laughs> Keeping it down on the DL. <laughs> Wasn't J James Dean was gay as well? Is that true? Really? Oh, James Dean? I don't know. I never I'd heard that. I'd, that. I'd heard rumors <laughs> that. Look at us just outing old Hollywood things. No, I heard rumors that he was called. Spencer Tracy was a fruit. James Mansfield was a dyke, and she threw her head into another pussy. No, his nickname. 
nickname was the ashtray. He used to like to go to parties and get cigarettes put out in his ass. His nickname was the, the ashtray. Ash the yeah, ashtray. You Google it. James Dean the ashtray. Google it. I'm not making oh, these I'm things gonna up. I'm going to go to Snopes and see if they that's true. They probably call him that because some girl kissed him and he had smoked and he tasted like yeah. one. And then as years go on, I like guys to put but, cigarettes out in his asshole. But, but J like. James Dean's last alleged girlfriend was the woman who played Seinfeld's mum on Seinfeld. That sounds like uh, it's, it's true. It was in a documentary. Yeah, she Marilyn Manson was uh, the little kid's best I, hey, friend. Hey, on, he uh, read it on the internet. No, it has I did to be read true. it. It was, on, true, it was right? on a biography it was on a channel. Blog. She was young. <laughs> it was a documentary about him. The guy they even mentioned in the side. She was actually extras. hot. No, she wasn't hot. That's was... why he was gay. It's people not <laughs> keeping up with what I'm saying. He dated that big nosed woman. He was obviously gay. So when he was in Giant. With Rock Hudson, what was going on in oh, that set? Oh, come on. my God. Come on, guys. Seriously. Oh, my God. You know, it's not that I didn't even think of that. Huh? Yeah, no, no. Oh, they, was they, that, was that trailer rocking, don't tell a knocking? Yeah. There was scrotes on foreheads in that oh, movie. Oh, baby. <laughs> it looked like the scene where they hit a gusher only in white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth oh, Taylor was paying yeah. him to do awful things Horrid. in the corner. <laughs> Why, no, she, well, why she just flicked herself off we've going, outed... I'm never going to marry either of you. <laughs> You're nothing to me. Now that we've outed all of Hollywood. I'm telling you, uh, James Dean was gay. All right, we're going to look into that. Who else, Bruce? Yeah, Who very, else artist, very artistic. Very artistic. I'll think of many gay people and bring I'm them up. I'm yeah. like, just surprised. I have no character. That's, that's what Bruce does. Just goes around and outs people. Yeah, I got that's a big list thing. and I dole them out. Yeah, one by one. <laughs> yep. Because what, uh, they owe me. What, what, are you, what are you in town for, In town to, uh, to do the Dog and Pony show for a, a new film where I, it's a huge stretch. I play myself in a movie called My Name is... Bruce. <laughs> so it's a, a very strange parallel universe version of my worst nightmare come true. And what would that be? Uh, he's kidnapped by fans to help fight a monster. All right, that sounds right, fucking right. cool. Uh, in a small small town in Oregon called Gold Lick, Oregon, uh, they've teenagers have unwittingly released uh, Guan Di, the Chinese god of war. Not Guan Di. Guan Di. Holy shit. He's nine feet tall, has a flowing white beard, glowing eyes, and he has a, uh, a staff with a uh, sword on the end, and he'll just take your head right they off. They are already pumping out action figures for this yeah, guy. Yeah, baby. So basically, <laughs> it, it turns out to be a massively bad idea to get Bruce Campbell to fight monsters, because the real Bruce Campbell doesn't know shit from Shinola. Uh, right. Oh, so, come on. Well, you'll see. <laughs> that but that sounds really funny. We'll see. The reviews have been, hmm. How do we put this? Um, Stellar. Gay. They've been. They, they, <laughs> gay. They were gay and elitist reviews. Uh, really? They were. Yeah. You Mostly know, elitist. Fuck them. Thank you. That's what I Thank say. Thank you for saying that. Because that does sound like a great premise. I felt, for I a felt movie. good by getting those shitty reviews, though, because I went. Yeah. Now, now it's going to make money. Right. You know? Yeah, now it'll, because the critic. Because if you get that oh, thing, it's critics. a triumph. Yeah. Run, run it's a from triumph. the movie. Yeah, a triumph. Don't see oh. any movie that says it's a triumph. Those snarky jizz buckets are the same ones that thought the English patient was fucking fantastic. That's, yeah. the, that's yeah. the worst yeah. film that ever. That goddamn <laughs> boar fest. Oh, the worst. my God. God. Now, this, this movie's short. It's like 80, 84 minutes of stupid... Farty jokes, you know, so it's... I'm fine with that. <laughs> Thank God. In these troubled times, we need things to take our minds. Uh, That's what it should say. In these troubled times, we need something yeah. to take our mind. And then it's just like, Bill's blog page, MySpace. <laughs> thing. Like, you, you, we always know the reviews are really uh, bad. When it, they just have, like, great movie... <laughs> Tom down the street. Yeah, W O O whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, some radio it, station it, guy you never heard of. Yeah. If you only see one movie a year, that one. Yeah, yeah. see this one. <laughs> we should and, enter, uh, we should enter that business. Yeah, let's just give we out should, fucking we be the review guys. Yeah. Really nice reviews to yeah. uh, really Horrible bad movies. movies. We get we'll That'd get some good. print out there. Yeah, some marketing for ourselves. They do pick a lot of shitty ones as shitty ones, but there's they have this thing. With a certain genre where they, they automatically will look at it badly because they think that you don't have to be smart to enjoy it because they're convincing themselves that they're smart to enjoy certain boring things yes. and saying it's fantastic. They're Wait, could you start sickening. over? No, because I will lose my point <laughs> immediately. And his temper. Yes. But you they, gotta really watch are, they really are very irritating. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm not saying they're always wrong, but something that can be very entertaining like that, they'll say, well, yeah. it's well time sometimes helps because when Evil Dead first came out, Mm -hmm. The reviews were pretty much uh, like some Stellar? of the worst reviews no, I've, <laughs> I've ever read in my life. It, it was, two things saved Evil Dead because there was an Atlanta paper. There was a review was the sickest of the sick was the headline. That's good. And that Sam Raimi took every bad idea he had and put it into a low budget blender. 
That sounds like something I want to see, right, though. Right, right. I'm not having my reviews aren't quite that scathing yet, but I'm working on it. Yeah, and you know how, like, and then now it's considered even, a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a cult film. It's the creepiest. Like, there are some really creepy scenes in that movie. That that girl rocking back and forth, giggling. Well, they, I think being raped by a vine was pretty offensive. Yeah, as that well. that was, might have been offensive. She but was hot. not. She was not injured. She just got a little case of Dutch elm disease. <laughs> that would happen a little bit. That was the best. Well, it, trees are so hard to make interesting in a film. The yeah. point of the evil dead pull it off. <laughs> What a fucking brilliant concept. Trees don't do anything. All right, how do we make one rape? I don't know. Let's, yeah, that, let's, let's figure that out. Yeah, let's draw the storyboards up. <laughs> but those, those things just became a cult a classic. On my road trip, I just Fantastic. passed by the original cabin. Really? Oh. Am, it's in Morristown, Tennessee. Do a lot um, of people know where it is and get pictures by uh, it? Or? I Just at the last signing I was at recently in Dallas, a guy puts a big rock on the table. I'm like, okay, Fred, Flint, you know, Fred Flintstone. What do you, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> Shove this sign up your not ass there. Like, what am I going to do with this? Oh yeah, sign this rock. Uh, what is it? It's from the fireplace. The, oh, the what? The cabin's fireplace. Where'd you get this? <laughs> I snuck out of the property and got it. I'm like, dude, you're going to get buckshot right up the ass because this is Tennessee. Yeah, they yeah. don't call nine one one. No, they'll, they'll, they'll fucking shoot oh, you. Oh, baby. It would have been great if he said, uh, uh, what is this? It's the rock, and when you sign it, I'm going to bash your head in with it. And have <laughs> Put your, an X right and, here. And have Bruce Campbell's blood and his signature but on the, it. But it's bizarre. It's a 20-acre parcel that's never been touched since the movie, and that was 1979. People, you can actually go wow, back. You would think there would be, like, enough fans would have gone uh, there. They, and have, just... they have slowly been, and it's on the Internet a little bit, turn here, turn there, go here, go there, but... Yeah, just, just be very careful. Is it a creepy feel to... that place though? Completely, it, it is. Yeah, because <clears throat> the cabin, because supposedly a woman uh, had, there was a storm. She had some. Her whole family was killed during a storm when she was a, a girl in the cabin in the '30s. So, so then she was in a rest home, and every time there was a horrible storm, she would go out and wander in the woods. And they, the cops came to our cabin one night when we were shooting, saying. Have you seen an old lady <laughs> Holy shit, wandering in the woods? On. She tries to go back and find the cabin whenever there's uh, a horrible oh storm. God. So we're like... Mm. And our hand was a hook. <laughs> <laughs> she walked with a limp. <laughs> yeah, so it has some strange history. And then it actually burned down. I went to visit the cabin about six months after we were done shooting. And someone had piled up... A, they had made a fire in the middle of the wooden floor Jesus. in the main room. And it burned a little bit of it. I'm like, it's only a matter of time. A yeah. couple years later, it burned down. So really, the chimney is the only thing that's left. That's why people are pulling chunks of the chimney. Oh, out. oh okay. Yeah. The original, if oh, you ever watched shame. the DVD of the first one they made, I'm all of a sudden the guy sitting next to you. Yeah, yeah. hi. Hey, Louis C.K. Louis C.K. Ah! <laughs> Louis C.K. Uh, the first one, the original, the DVD with his commentary is really great. Oh, yeah. You find out how they used, like, the up, the upstairs of the cabin, and then the, the basement was somewhere, like, hundreds of miles away or something. Like, Yeah, it was in the, the, the upstairs was in Tennessee. The downstairs was in Marshall, Michigan. Right. Wow. So, right. The yeah. magic of motion pictures. Wow. Somebody pointed it's out. I think you house. shot it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody good. pointed out to me that in, in uh, Evil Dead 2, every single person in the movie beats the shit out of you at some point. <laughs> There's I think nobody in the movie say, that yeah. doesn't bash you in the head like millions <laughs> well, of times. Well, I thought time. it was fun. Sam Raimi goes on to direct The Quick and the Dead. He's got Gene Hackman, Sharon Stone, Russell Crowe, Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm like, Sam, you're going to hit them with a fucking two-by-four <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get them ready for a scene? You're going to poke Gene Hackman? How are you going to get him motivated? He's like, shut up! <laughs> and he didn't have an answer, though. No. The, uh... uh <laughs> Uh, in, uh, in I love the movies. I'm a big fan. In Fargo. And, and Baba Hotep. Did you talk yeah, to him oh, about we that? Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. to talk about we're that. Right. Right. I just want to talk movie. about Fargo, though, for a minute. When you're on the right. television, yeah. when uh, Buscemi is like... Well, someone's got, taking a leg and putting it in a chipper in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then inside, the other guy's watching a bad soap opera. And which was me in a bad Detroit soap opera from like 1980. Okay, I was wondering if that was that was an actual. It soap was a opera. real bad soap opera. A friend of mine was one of the producers, and the Coen Brothers were looking for something to show on TV. And my friend went, "I know a really bad soap opera that Bruce Campbell was in," and they went, "Perfect." So. It's just a lame argument with me and some yeah, other Yeah, you come actors. through the static for a few seconds. It's like, it's fucking Bruce Campbell. <laughs> yeah. So what the I, hell is I that young Bruce in, in Campbell? A, I've been in an, in an Academy Award winning motion picture. Yes. Hey, that you got nice. that. Thank the resume you very stuffer. much for that.
It would be fun stuff. if you showed up there and demanded your troll people to the rest of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> like, just awkwardly, like, we only have six. <laughs> he runs up there, hey, I'm in this. Yeah. <laughs> Drop an F, what the fuck? Well, I like the eight guys who go up to get the Academy Award. One guy speaks, the second guy starts to come up. Da -da 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 -da. We'll be back <laughs> with the Academy Awards. What? what? Oh, I get what? to say shit. But I... <laughs> yeah, uh, what was that? Um, uh... It was a movie you were just talking about there, uh, Louis C.K., that I can Bubba, barely see. Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep, right. Yeah. Now, uh, I think the ending was ruined on by, uh, by the, the, the last no, question no, I, by I, Jim Jeffries. No, I respect... Yeah, thanks, Jim. Were, were you really Elvis in the film? Was I really Elvis? Yeah, well, no, no. Like, Isn't it really left like, up in the... Don't you... No question not, no. about it. Yeah, okay. I thought he was Elvis. He yeah. was Elvis. He's he not was a crazy Elvis. guy. No. He's not a crazy... See, yeah. I, that's what I was saying, and no. they're saying when me saying the crazy that, guy, the, film. the crazy guy is Ozzy Davis saying he's JFK. I still yeah. think he was JFK. I think he was a more plausible JFK oh, than you were Oh, okay. <laughs> so what in the movie is crazy? Says they dyed me this color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the one guy... They're doing a sequel. Are they really? With, really? With, uh, I just heard this yesterday. Paul Giamatti is playing Colonel Parker. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh Ron God. Perlman is playing Elvis. Well, oh why aren't you back for that role? Yeah, you should uh, be back We couldn't now. agree on a story. Uh, <laughs> really? Is this like, a story is this like an actual Elvis film? <laughs> yeah. Has it become like clam bake? We, we, it could, it, it's going to be like clam bake, and I didn't want to be part of it. <laughs> so it's a long, boring story. So, you, got, you, uh, you got a lot of those... Um, uh, signing things, yeah, the, conventions, uh, the, the sci -fi, conventions, horror, yeah, 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 sci-fi, and um, it's where you meet the masses. You don't, you, they don't bust apart many stereotypes at those things, do they? No, not at all. <laughs> no. And you got to be a little careful too, because fans get crabby really easily. No, <laughs> that I don't crabby. understand. <laughs> I would be like, like you I'm, can't really be making too much fun of them, right? I'm they a take huge it a lot more fan. seriously than you ever did. Yeah, if you say the yeah. G word, like you know, you're a geek. geek. Uh, then, oh, then it's yeah. like you see their ears get a little red. There can be some violence, some horrible violence, because they're right. my clients, technically, so why would I insult right. my, my yeah. clients? Right. Uh, right. Exactly. It's okay for them to make fun of half the movies that I've been in, <laughs> yeah. but, but, but I can't say, oh, yes, next question from Fat Fuck over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it just doesn't go over real no, well. I wouldn't think it would. You know, no. The guy who's smelling his fingers, yes, you, right there. <laughs> but then you pick on a guy who has zero social skills and you ask them a question they go I'm like when's the last time you got out of your house <laughs> my fans are cocoons they they're cocooning is that it? they get out waiting. they get out and go on these great journeys across four states <laughs> and live seven of them in a hotel room <laughs> they do i've seen them it is it's, like it's the habits of have you room. gone back yeah. to this hotel room you partied with these people you know what I, i'll put it to this way one guy goes hey bruce we got some time in between events you can chill in my room <laughs> I, I didn't think anything of it because the guy was part of the convention right. i thought well, okay he'll have a generic you know little cheesy room in the holiday inn I opened up the door. There were there were like nine sleeping bags on the floor, <laughs> oh, <laughs> with all their stuff piled all over. It's um, like the habits of a wow. creature, like you. you yeah, know. yeah, but you know, yeah, I can't. They, so what? I still can't make fun of them because they. I got a kid in college, so I got to go a little easy on that. <laughs> yeah, right. You got to. Right <laughs> that. So did you sign the sleeping bags? Like was it? <laughs> yeah, no, I did other things in those sleeping bags. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one's going to be sleeping in those bags. Those bags are stuck yeah. together like a <laughs> cheese sandwich. <laughs> it's uh, it really is sometimes a curse because uh, with, with this show we realize look it's mostly a dick fest uh, when when we go out. Take a it's look like a bunch room. of guys, and the girls that yeah. are there are yes. some of them yeah. are with some of the guys, some of them are with uh, like us, and uh, the rest of them are just like uh, no insult, uh, please, but just <laughs> look at this one guy, just despicable, <laughs> yeah. just horrid people to hang out with. They're not fun. They're just like uh, the, sometimes they smell. Not, uh, not sometimes. They, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much all us. the time. I've got a new. Prop. They don't shut up. I love, I love this fan the most. Mm. I don't want to bother you. Just want to quickly say, I love what you do. I don't want to be that guy. I love guy. this. I don't want to be that guy. But thanks for what you do. Hey, man, thanks a lot. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> it's just fantastic. <laughs> when you do. And then it's one more thing for the whole fucking night. Well, no, you get a letter, though. I'll get, I'll get emails through my website, and there's always the what they're going to get. You're going to get the first paragraph. Loved you in Maniac Cop. 
Uh-huh. Loved you in Assault on Dome 4. I'm like, well, you really? That was a piece of shit. Anyway, loved you in Terminal Invasion. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> And then the next paragraph is now what I have to do in return. Right, yeah. right. So, so you must, would you mind you signing him. these two three by five cards for my personal collection? Don't put no, not there, not there, not there, and no names. And they would yeah. give it sometimes in a black pen. Mm-hmm. They would request. So it's a there's always a trade off. I rarely get the hey, you know, you were you were. You you were great in McHale's Navy. Well, no one says that anyway. But <laughs> you, know, you never just get the the compliment. You got no. it. It's a, there's a little bit of a it's monetary a dealio. It's, yeah. Quid pro quo. Exactly. <laughs> I've got a new problem on the road because my last special I closed with this whole thing about how I like older women yes. more than young oh, women. Oh fuck! Oh, you dumbest fuck. thing I ever did. You yeah. idiot! It's the dumbest thing yeah. I ever did. No one likes that. No, the well, girls in there. Like a bunch of cougars chasing the, you. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they're not. I wish they were cougars. That's kind of like a sexy <laughs> idea. I get old these. Pumas. Leathery, Come on, a milf is a milf, man. Uh, <laughs> these leathery women with turquoise jewelry. I love you. you. <laughs> I, love yeah. you. I love your show. And a card, a scented business card, and they go, you know, this smoking is... Smoking a Chesterfield. Oh, God. Do, do you really prefer old women? Well, I, I had an ideal in my head that, you know, women that are, like, in their 40s are sexy because no. they're, you know... But I'd much rather fuck a 16-year-old. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I, always, I always laugh whenever there's a guy and he's, like, 40s, and then, like, some woman would go, oh, he's going through a middle-aged crisis because he drives a sports car. Yeah. The only middle-aged crisis okay. that exist in this world are earrings and ponytails. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise... The reason you bought a sports car is because your whole life you couldn't afford one, and now your kids you cleared the funds. Thank and you. now you want to you want to clear the funds. Yeah, 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 yeah
Uh, hey, Bruce, I'm a huge fan. How you doing, uh, man? You must boy. be a fine, fine man. <laughs> <laughs> but, Bruce, uh, you in your autobiography, in the last, like, five chapters, you bring up O&A in it. All right. Oh, yeah. No, I talked about the... Yeah. Uh, you guys are in my uh, the How paperback cool version of the book. Yes. Because I was talking about the classy things that happened on the tour. Yes, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. And, and you brought up the fact of the uh, stripper being in there and with the ice cubes. How we started. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that. And I described the sound. I had to, you know, when you write, you have to describe everything. Yeah, sure. So I had to describe the sound of an ice cube coming out of the butt. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it turned you out. had to. I just spell it. Say the word... S P O R T, sport, 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 sport. sport. So it's like, oh, no, no, it it's like, like, yeah. not with my sport. accent. Sport, sport, and, and that was it. That was the sound that it made. So I had to communicate That's pretty that. Cool, so. man. Oh. I didn't, we didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, that. you guys are immortalized awesome. in, in print. Thank you, Thank man. You, Bruce very Campbell. flatter, uh, very flattering portrayal. <laughs> <laughs> very unlike the real. Oh you yeah. Guys. Well, that was that was our old we days. We're He's, much more classy yeah. now. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Sure. All right. See, All right, Bruce, Bruce is freaking out. We got to get Bruce to, si I wanted Bruce to sign this in silver, but the silver wasn't good. So this, I, can, I, can I get it signed? The in silver ain't got no juice. Oh god, look, he's doing the same fucking thing. The silver's got the asshole. There we go. The camera. Don't sign it there. Don't sign it there. No, 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 not with that. Thank you, Bruce. All right, and guys. You, so wait, and wait, you, tell him, you tell him goodbye. I'm getting a picture with yeah, you. Yeah, baby. And, and right. figure. Yeah, we do that. I want to get involved it's in very this. very unprofessional. Oh, yeah. Everyone else, involved. out of the fucking picture. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. What is that about? I won't want to ask you. Can you bring Oh, do we yeah. do this now, yeah, Danny? Danny or? Uh, no, we're going to want like, uh, the last chick. You to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. Thank you, Roland. No, no, no. no I, can, I can do this. Yeah, right. Zach and Mary making porno opens today. We've been talking about the movie all week, but in case you don't know, Seth Rogen and Elizabeth uh, Banks play Zach and Mary. They're best friends who've fallen on hard times. Thanks, Bruce. Bruce Campbell, everyone. Uh, they can't pay their rent, and the bills are piling up, so they need to figure out a way to make some quick cash so they make a porno. There's a lot of really funny people in the movie, some of uh, who you know from uh, our show. That's right. Seth Rogen from Knocked Up, Superbad, and Pineapple Express. You got Elizabeth Banks from 40-Year-Old Virgin. Uh, Craig Robinson from Pineapple <laughs> Express and NBC's The Office. And our own little Jimmy Norton, who's taking a picture with Bruce Campbell right yes. now, has a fine cameo. That was fucking awesome. He's the star of the montage uh, uh, part of uh, the film. And you got porn stars. Nice. We talked to Katie Morgan yesterday. She <laughs> yes, was really, really cool. And Tracy Lords. We talked to her as well. Very, very yes. cool. Yes. with her. Oh, getting, yeah. Getting she's it actually, on. Uh, on before 84. She can memorize uh -huh. lines and stuff. Oh, yeah, really? isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah she seems yeah, pretty right. smart. She, she, she could fake work. her identity for long I enough. I like her <laughs> earlier work. Nothing. <laughs> I got it. No, we're all agreeing. Like, <laughs> we're just all nodding because we don't want the authorities to hear us. Why, would we, why, would, we, why would we laugh when you're you stating a fact? Yeah. She couldn't buy back. Yeah. <laughs> Zach and Mary make a point. Did she buy them back? Yeah, she bought back as all of them. She Not well, every single one of them. I got them yeah, hey, you. let me tell the feds out there. Yeah. <laughs> Zach and Mary make a point. It was directed by our good friend Kevin Smith. So yes. do him a favor. Go see it. It's definitely worth it. Again, Zach and Mary make a porno opens Friday wide. And wait, yeah. Bruce, what is your thing? What, what the uh, yes. well, uh, independent films are not released. They escape. Yeah, they just kind of like. <laughs> uh, so this one we're going to be. I, they're showing it because I told them I would actually show up at the damn theater. And it, where is it? It's tonight where? It's at tonight at the Sunshine. They got three shows. I'll be there doing Q and A afterwards. That's the, fucking the beautiful. That are left after I'm going the movie, to that. It's I'll on the Q and A. It's what on, is it? Seven, yeah, seven o'clock, like nine twenty, and a midnight show. Oh, oh I'm going to that. It's on, oh, House, it's on Houston Street here in the Village of the Sunshine. It's a gorgeous theater uh, here in the city. Yeah, so it, you, you're going to the parade. It's right down there on Houston. Fantastic. Perfect. Yeah, Bruce. Uh, yeah, I'm he's yeah, running. Thanks so much, man. Always a pleasure. Bruce Campbell, everyone. Damn, Bruce Campbell. We're going to continue with Jim Jeffries and Louis C.K. in just a minute. Got a nice crowd here today. Opie and Anthony. We got, a, uh, we got the big Halloween party tonight at the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, boy. Seven to whenever. Hopefully people are going to show up with uh, costumes that have something to do with this radio show. It's the object. That's the object. And, and we do have money to give away tonight. Costume contest. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a costume contest. With a cash prize. Yes. That's good. Good. Oh my goodness! Look, somebody uh, speaking of the Halloween party what? is on line one. Who? Uh, hello. You turn your radio down, sir. Okay, going down. <laughs> All right. Well, it's <laughs> none other than Sal. Yeah, it's Sal. Oh, how I you doing, Sal? Sal's it. Can I mention this fucking show you're doing tonight, this Halloween thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, you okay, know. Okay, there's a Halloween show, but you guys are in for a surprise, because I'm bringing Mel Karmazan, your fucking boss. 
Oh, and he's coming there to campaign for me to take the two or three seat. He's, is he going to be Mel Carrison? Um, oh that was God. Sal's uh, little little surprise. He, uh, he he knows it has to have something to do with the show. Yeah. Um, so Sal is coming dressed oh as God. our boss, Mel Carrison. It's great. It's gonna be... You're not yeah. supposed to say that. That's Mel's coming. Oh, okay. Silly he, me. Yeah. How do you fucked up the whole idea? <laughs> you know what? No. Sal's great for satellite. Yes. He curses a lot. I got, now. Sounds like Mel's been drinking early in the morning, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, Mel used to scare the crap out of us back uh, when we were working at NEW and getting in trouble and stuff. We should have brought Sal with us. We would have. Yeah, we would have made. Yeah, we would have done much better if yeah. he was around. Well, he's on my side this for this campaign. Now, yeah. Sal, uh, you're you're showing up. Is uh, what about Rowe? Ro, Ro, Ro is coming. I think she's coming as Anthony's mom. Oh, she's not. She's not dressing up as anything. She doesn't have anything. Oh, what do you, oh, what, what do you mean What's she doesn't wrong? have anything? You could buy her a costume. Get her a mask. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd like to get her that anyway. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my gosh, she's gonna kick your ass. She's not here. She's at the, getting her nails done. Yeah. yeah, to claw your eyeballs out with, apparently. <laughs> right. I comments like that. Yeah, sure. You're going to go run and tell her now. Tell her. Mama's uh, boy. I won't say yeah, a word. <laughs> Mama's boy. Well, you know me. Radio. I won't say a word, but Sal, this is on the radio. <laughs> so, broadcast you know, radio. And you know how all your friends love just uh, calling right. mom up and, and ratting us out. My friend Freddie, you know Freddie Smith. Yeah. He'll be on the phone calling her in five minutes. Yeah, Sal just said you need a mask. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. <laughs> All right, well, uh, uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing uh, you, uh, Mel Carmazin, well, and, of I course, Ro. I, I don't think we should let him go just yet. I mean, Why? Because so, Sal's lonely. Sorry, you know, who, who's that? I'm all by myself. Yeah, he wants to oh, talk a little bit. You want to send some bitches over there for him? <laughs> you know, I mean, could you use I just, one, I think. I just, just wanna, one? I just maybe. Ask, That's a maybe. I just want to ask Sal uh, what's on his mind lately. What's got your, uh, you know. What's got me? I want to be on the show. That's I, why, I, that's I was right of the day. What else? Is <laughs> on the show. Yeah, but that's yeah. why I, I want to be on the my show. Fans, my fans are going to be there cheering me tonight. You're on the show Your right fans? Now. Does Sal have any fans? Yes, yes he does. Oh, oh no. There Jesus. He is. <laughs> cheap, so you got the cheap fans. applause break no, there. But Sal, we can't just put you on the show. you got to give us a little more material. we got to make sure you're, you weren't a one-hit wonder like uh, <laughs> Pablo oh, Francisco and, uh, uh, and, and others. <laughs> oh, and others, that's all you say? Oh, is, that, is that because I'm in the room? You can just say it out loud. I'll be all right with it. You guys you still have that couch there that I can, you can do a, you know, a vintage a burn. A what? Uh-oh, see, he's he already, um, wait a minute. He's <laughs> oh, no, Sal, your first car crash. Wait, I, uh, Sal, you overplayed your hand there, buddy. I actually yeah. didn't hear you. What you, me? What'd you yeah. say? I didn't yeah. say anything. Apparently Who is not. Sal? Who is Sal? How, how Sal do we know is, Sal? Is, uh, Sal, Sal is married to my mom. father. Yeah. married to your mom. That's yes. your stepdad. Yes. I'm the wicked For a very step long father. time. Yeah, yeah. for 20, 25 years, right? Yeah, 25 Ooh. years next week. Hey, by the way, did you check out anything for that? Yeah, I'm supposed to like get oh, something shit. together. Yeah, get the other two together because nobody's mentioned anything. Well, he's not married to him. Keith, Keith, if you're listening... Um, just take care of this. Oh, get Thank out. you. What, you gotta, That's all I got to do. Get, you got to put a, a party together? Yeah, I mean, you know, something. Well, sorry, is, sorry, 20, sorry. is 22 years, years like, like 25. 25. 25 years of being My married. My parents have hated each other for 40 years. <laughs> 40 years together? 40 years of despising each other. Wow. And now they hate each other so much that they've alienated each other from their friends. They start <laughs> really? thinking, I don't have any friends because they don't like you and vice versa. Yeah, well, and now they just sit there marriage. miserable with each other going, we should go on holiday. Yes, this is our second well, marriage. Second, so I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> how, you how uh, put them both together and be close to 50. That was when Sal went. Wow. Sal went Jew for a while. Yes, yeah, he I had to go Jew. Jew. He uh, he told uh, uh, he said that Jesus doesn't exist. Blah blah blah. He went Jew, and then he went back Catholic. They let him back in for a big donation. Of course, you just have to boo a menorah. Hey, just like the <laughs> Thanks, last yeah. week, that That's kid funny. that you had Appreciate doing the Jewish um, sports da review. He David didn't even know that Jesus was a Jew. How could he not know? He was a he was a prophet. He was the uh, what the hell do you call him? A teacher. Son of God. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Son of God. Son of God. God. Damn, uh, God. Uh, God. So all you all you Christians are out there are all part Jewish. Yes, really? yeah, you it's are, right. jokes yeah. on you, motherfucker. And you know yeah, yeah. the Sicilians. Let's talk about them. The, yes. the oh, Moors. The Moors. That's, that's the Moors. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, Sal. Good old uh, Sal. Yeah. Sal, what are you, what are you just knocking around the house? What are you yeah, doing? I'm waiting to get into my costume to come out, but i got to wait for your uh, sister. Really? What's Dawny uh, doing? She's doing something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be fun tonight. And brand new mommy, Dawn. Sal's going to get a big hand tonight. I'm going to meet Sal and your sister. Oh, oh yeah. and my mom and, mom and my sister's uh, 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 boyfriend. Are you going to let up on They yourself? just had a baby. They just yeah, had a baby. Yeah, my sister's uh, 83 said, years old. Huh? Can you believe Patrick was going to want to bring the baby? Yes, I can believe that. Yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it when he said, I, says, I don't think that's the place for him. But he was, he was talking about it. I, I don't doubt it. Patrick likes bringing the baby out to uh, events and stuff. Apparently, I, I talked to my mom uh, and uh, uh, you when, when you had a babysit for an entire night. Yeah, uh, and my was... mother was kind of going like, eh, you know, I kind of forgot what that was like. I'm overnight. It's kind of good to go there during the day. So even my mom is like, and she's the most doting grandma. Sure. <laughs> and, and, and she's even now like kind of, oh, God, you know, the baby. That, oh, that's Jesus. only daytime. Yeah, you can only, uh, only like daytime, daytime babysitting. No more overnighters. You change any shitty diapers, Sal? Not me. No, I mean Not on me. on, I did on it you. My, my <laughs> <first>. <laughs> hey, it's Sal. Sal knows no I'm teasing. Shit. No shit. You no be shit. Better see a doctor. Get out blockage. All right. So yeah. I'm I'm getting ready to get dressed. Okay, get, right, get ready. Uh, did you get me? Did you get us the pass to get in? I mean, uh, I want to yeah. stand on the corner. Club soda, Kenny. Make sure uh, my mom and Sal and uh, Dawn, Dawn and Patrick. Patrick and Joe and uh, the baby, the babies, the baby. and uh, yeah, everyone has a pass to get <laughs> in. So it's not his baby. It's but the show. Baby. Oh, here's uh, Kenny. No, here's it's, Kenny. it's my my brother had a baby. Hey, yeah, you can't and my change, sister had a baby. You can't change yeah. diapers of any kid that's not your bloodline. No, really? no, it's just yeah, you creepy. Can't. Like I've got, I've been. You know, I changed my changed my daughter's diapers a million times of shit all over my hands, wipe it on my forehead. I don't get, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, because it's like my shit. It came out of my dick DNA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, into yeah, my yeah. wife's yeah. pussy and out their ass. So, but hang on, hang on. Now, but, now you're but implying change... that you could wipe your own shit on your forehead. I'm sure, that's the I implication. The time. There. That's I... just like wiping your own shit all over. Sure, it's no big deal. No big deal. deal. But English somebody, accent? all right, never mind. No, that wasn't that wasn't me doing an English accent. Oh, I thought you were doing an English accent. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have a guest here. I'm Australian as well. He's oh, Australia. Australia. That's a nice place. I'd like to go there. You got any tickets I could use? I, I'll, I'll <laughs> put your name on the door, Sal. Okay. I'll put your name on the door. You can't get a pass to get into a country. No, no. It's not I, like I'll pull a few strings, mate. You can bring the baby and everything. Funny. Don't let it near a dingo. But I yeah. don't fly. <laughs> I don't, it you don't Sal fly. Fly. None of us do you Sal fly people. now, Sal. Oh, you see, I'll, take, thanks, I'll, take a, I'll take a cruise over there. You can take a cruise over there. Back yeah, in the day, sure. there was no planes. People used to get around. My parents met on a boat going to England. I like those little koalas. Do you? How do you know that? You've never Jeez. seen one. They're cute. They are cute. La laziest animal in the world, Sal. They sleep for 22 hours a day. He's speaking a foreign language. I don't yeah. even understand him. You flies eyes. Fly eyes. Sal can you ever do the flies eyes, Sal? Fly what? The flies eyes. The fly eyes. Flies eyes. I'm imagining Sal's old enough. That yeah, that's where you. That's where you take your balls and you shove them between your legs and uh, like by your asshole, and it looks like two big bulging flies eyes. Oh, okay. That sounds like it. a real fun thing to do. Do it for Ro. <laughs> do it for Ro. That could be your costume. She's left. <laughs> She'd laugh at she'd your... she start laughing right in my face. Well, no, at your fly's eyes. She'd be laughing in, eyes. into your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you'd feel the wind from her laughter on your, on your anus. Your mother, you did this to me. I know. Hey, yeah. Sal, Sal, it's Jim Norton. Hi, Jim. Watch your seat. <laughs> your seat is up for grabs. Thank, I just wanted someone to re recognize my name when I said this yes. to you. Yeah, Thank See, you, and Sal. it's Sal. You now, you don't have to take my seat. Why can't you just come in and be a fourth mic and we'll swap on and off? Well, that's, that's according to what the money is, you know. <laughs> so wants, the money Someone wants to get paid. What is that? What? I got to get paid. You, you guys something. don't get paid? Yeah. Hey, I'll buy your granola. What is that? This? Something burning? No, what? no, no. no. Right. Hi, Jim. Hi. Hi. Now I'm listening to you all over again here. What? I gotta listen to you twice. Oh, he's, he's on the phone and he's listening to the radio. Uh, he's insane. Which, which Jim is he talking to? The, the one on the radio now. We're gonna, uh, Sal, you're going to come in soon. Soon? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll have, we'll have you back in. Okay. You, All right. you, I'll be back. 
All right, so. All right, we'll see you uh, tonight at the Halloween party at the Hard Rock Cafe. Hey, what time is this thing? I think Dawn is picking us up at 3. Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's got, Jesus you, you gotta Christ. got to be early. They... Well, we got to drop the baby off. Where? <laughs> at his mom's. Oh, have fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, see you tonight. Are you wearing the costume? Are you going to dress Fidel Castro? Yeah, that's what I dress as on a daily basis, oh, a you young revolutionary. Bring, you going to bring a gun? <laughs> No, I'm not going to bring any guns. I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't really can't bring guns to events now. like that. Yeah, I have to do somebody I have an else. Urge to shoot George the fans. Washington or something. All right, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> All take, right. Take it. Easy. I'll see you later. Go okay. call. Call someone else now. Okay. All right. Hey, Sal. <laughs> Sal. Bye. You can stay there, Jim. Thank you, Sal. Ah, another fine appearance. And OB, Sal. you can stay there too. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. okay. All right. Bye, we'll see you Sal. tonight, Sal. Bye. I was oh, actually nervous. Hard Rock Cafe there tonight at seven o'clock. Bastard was going to take my seat. No, I have a feeling that Sal isn't well traveled. No. Sal is. Uh, he was in the Navy back in the fifties, so he traveled around there. He's been. Uh, he traveled around there a lot of cruises. Uh, they've been to uh, like Tahiti, and mm -hmm. it was and, just the way my, that him and my mom go around uh, a lot. They, uh, he was like going. I can't even understand him. That was kind of yeah, yeah. Come well, on, you know, Sal, sometimes, on. sometimes. I'm not talking know. gibberish here. Literal Jim. He's, he's <laughs> 70, 70 years old now, really? so you know, seventy-seven or just seventy. Seventy. Oh, well, he's seventy. That's yeah. not, he's that's seventy years. He's younger than he can run the country at seventy. Yeah, they're not that old. Some people can. There are some people in their sixties that are falling apart. You know. I want to go back to Louis. CK because he was getting somewhere yes. with the shit story. I know. Oh, yeah. I didn't forget. No. So you can wipe you. your own kid's shit on your, your forehead. You can wipe your own shit on your head and, you know, eat it and put it in your food. <laughs> uh, <laughs> change your kid's diaper. Uh -huh. um, but uh, when it's somebody else's kid, like I, I was once with, uh, we had a couple over that had a kid and that somebody said, oh, maybe you could change this kid who I don't fuck. I'm like, it's no. presumptuous. No fucking no way. Fucking way I will right. never change it. I mean, just the thought of, an, of a kid who's not mine... <laughs> Looking into their shit. What about yeah. a, a nephew or I'd a niece or care. a grandchild? You could do that. Uh, you? I don't. Not sure. Mm. I could. I, cha I changed my nephews all the time when he was a kid. It's yeah. his family right, though. Into his mid teens. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> whether, whether he liked you know it or not. I, I have a new tongue. nephew. My sister had a baby. Uh, it was like a month old, and I'll see this kid in Thanksgiving, and I'll probably. I mean, I would. I mean, I don't have to. There's a lot of other people around. Yeah, uh, but I don't mind L little babies. They're shit. Like you, you, you kind of get worked up into it because when they start, it's just this black tar. Tar is wow. called it's, it's, not it. it's not proper. It's not real shit. poop yet. Here's look. And Came so, out of an asshole. You, it's shit. Yeah, yeah, but when you first start, you start with that stuff. You're like, I can deal with this, and then it just gradually gets to be just a big steam and dirty they've fucking been, dump. There've been nights of drinking where you could call that <laughs> the shit that comes out Mike, of my ass the same thing. It, it leaves yeah. like a fucking. <laughs> Cold black yeah. lung disease right. in the toilet. Exactly. <laughs> no, they, like when it came out of Madame Bovary's mouth when she died. <laughs> no, when, when babies drink a lot of Guinness. <laughs> now my my uh, my both my kids are toilet uh, users, and my six year old I, I got nothing to do with her shit anymore. She just she goes in the bathroom, takes a shit, and yeah. come, comes out. Yeah, but the congrats. three year old, I still have to wipe her ass. Oh God. And the thing is, she can wipe her ass, but I do it for her because she sucks at it. And also, you, you like it as well. You know what I mean. You, know, you, you like it. You don't want to give up their youth too, <laughs> too quickly. That. No, that's absolutely right. You <laughs> enjoy it wiping your child's bit, ass. It's a little sad to know that at I some point. I can't understand parenting. Yeah. Well, because when they get older, like at one point, like their lives, every th their moment, they're constantly looking at me. Their, their lives revolve around me and their mm -hmm. mom. And uh, I'm becoming more and more. My, my six-year-old is in first grade. She's got friends and shit like a real life. So I'm becoming like this fat landlord. Like, <laughs> she comes home from school. Hey, Dad, what's up? Uh, you know, just fucking. That's going to be my kid's going to eventually be on a phone, like showing me her finger going, give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm talking right yeah, now. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So I, that's sad. That is sad. I so do, you want to like. Three year old, uh, all my last, my last uh, attachment to their, to them is in that way is wiping, wi her, is wiping her little asshole. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that is the most fucked up. Oh, Uncle I like that you, no, like you put the word little in that sentence. Like we might have well, imagined. She have a big, dirty, <laughs> giant. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yes, Although her shits are are like a fucking bear's shit. Really, like she shits like you. If you were in the woods and you saw a shit like hers, you'd be like, "There's chunks of Canadians." That has to be. That has to be like a big. 
person's it's, shit. It's as big as her whole body. Like it's, That's... I expect her to deflate on top of it like a <laughs> balloon that just right there. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. I can't I understand, understand that. Like, I, Daddy, I'm done. I go in there. There's a, a fucking log. How do you wipe your kid's ass? Do you just shove your hand like with her still sitting on the bowl? Do you the make a stand up? The, like I wouldn't even know how to fucking go about you, that. You stand in front of the kid, and she leans over and grabs your legs, and and her, <laughs> and then you put your hand. So what they that's what you do. And no, you reach wait, wait, that's away. what you do. Is that is is, that, is this the common method? The or, kid, the, yeah, the or is kid's this just your method? method. Wait, 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 she's sitting on the that. toilet. The kid's sitting on the toilet. Yeah. And she leans over and she grabs the bo behind your, your legs, and so her ass is like you know. Oh you reach God. down with toilet oh, paper and the, you wipe. Uh, and you wipe. Front to back. Yeah, that's front, front to back, front always. Back. That's great. You're 69, and then you just happen to reach out. That's <laughs> yeah. the fucking worst thing I've ever heard in my uh, life. Wait, wait, so how is he going to do it? Is it just a given when um, you go in there, or do you have to what? say, assume the position or anything? You just do it. No, nobody talks about it. You know, she knows. Can, but why can't you just stand behind her and go, all right, bend forward a little bit? Well, if she then... gets up off the toilet, now you've got this kid who's oh, mobile okay. with shit on her ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you need to get, before she gets off the toilet, you need to wipe the shit off her ass. That is just. I would just stand there and yell at her, wipe your ass. Yeah, you just I tell her, you made it dirty, you little fucking whore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smack her ass yeah. a little. You see that fucking horrible. put her face in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. You see what you did? Every, you time did? Oh, yeah. every time she shits. Every time she shits. Imagine how bad you can fuck a kid up. Like, oh. people people fuck their kids up without even knowing they're fucking them up. Imagine your mission Ooh. is just to psychologically yeah. fuck your kid up by doing oh, stuff like that. that. Would be, um, Shoving their face in the one toilet. One. There, there's not enough time in the Jimmy, day. Jimmy! Jimmy! They look very good and they're very tasty, but don't have one. You'll regret it. Okay. Are you on a diet, Jimmy? Aww. I'm just saying, you, you'll be all mad not, at yourself. Not, are you on a diet, mate? I don't know. The fuck is this, a bad sitcom? <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking... I want, I, I I'm trying a, to lose weight I as well. I want a donut. All right, yeah. it's Halloween, just one. Okay. Yeah. Get, Jimmy. get me one, Jimmy. <laughs> and, Jimmy. Then they, and then they applaud now. I would shoot the audience like that. Which one are you going to choose, those Jimmy? Sitcoms. I don't well, know. Just, uh, like that, like some a couple kisses and well, you hear that's a Halloween go, looking oh, one. Boo. Fuck what, you, boo. What, get what is AIDS. the flavor of orange icing? Come. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Applauding orange it's, icing it's, and sprinkles. It's, it's, it's a snowball nut. Who brought it's, it's these donuts? flavored. It's ghost uh, Who brought the donuts? I asked. Well, um, no, Louis wanted a coconut oh. donut. I and, wanted, uh, a, I wanted a, uh, some donuts, including a coconut donut. And so oh, yeah, that's got exactly it. what I got. Hip hop Ron got a four. So oh, I nice. asked. I asked how many donuts Louis would like. So he said four. I thought that was an odd number to get. So I figured yeah, it is. <laughs> we'll, we'll just get, get a dozen. Peter yeah, Campbell, yeah. Daniel, why didn't you get my favorite? I demanded. Oh, What's wait a minute, favorite? Ted. I would like a salmon donut. <laughs> <laughs> Ted wants a salmon yes, donut. Yes, leave the bones in them. You know. Oh, I love that. Jesus. I've been Donut for years, they're fucking great. They're the best thing ever. Of course they are. Look how long they've survived. They? They're the best not thing be ever. Not great, yeah. But it's so bad for you. They have to be good. No, they're they're horrid for you. They're horrid for you. Sugary dough. They're not that bad for you. Fried. Fried. They do. Are you guys fucking faggots? How about yeah. donuts? It's deep fried batter. Yeah. I just watched. Right. Did you watch on how it's made? Uh, donuts. Yep. Seeing donuts, yeah, it's uh, they, it, like massive amounts of Krispy Kreme they Ooh. were, mm -hmm. and they pump these things out like fucking mechanical cow udders are pumping this dough out onto a conveyor belt with holes in them, okay, of course, because they're donuts, and then they flop them into this fucking oil, yeah, that's just Hot this oil. giant swimming pool of boiling oil, and then a little thing flips them over. And then they come out, and then this jizz machine just fucking <laughs> drools this white, creamy jizz on him. Tries to impregnate the dog. Right, yeah. I have to stop you. Uh Oh, what are you, you doing? Are freaking I've, out. Never, I've, never, I've never seen this before. What I've never seen a black like donut Columbus? before. Welcome this to America, country is a go-ahead place. <laughs> a go I, hope you, I hope you rule the world for much longer. Well done, America. Jesus well done. Christ, you've, you've never, never seen a black donut? Isn't that just a black donut? It's fucking chocolate. It's chocolate. I know, but that's fucking mental. You Brits ain't <laughs> fucking your teeth up on lettuce. <laughs> what are you eating over there? Mental. It looks like a turd. <laughs> it does, but it tastes delicious. What, they don't have chocolate really? donuts in England? Oh, they have chocolate in England, donuts in what, what He's doing? actually a, a transplant oh, from England. Wow. We're too busy playing cricket to have fucking chocolate donuts. <laughs> like, are you serious? We have to wow. have donuts in England. No, they have, like, scones. No, we have donuts, but not chocolate donuts. I've never seen this. Really? Like, this one had gone off. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, gone off. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I believe the clams have gone off. 
By the way, <laughs> Louie. No, they've gone bad. Louie and I had a funny uh, sitcom moment. Yeah. I ate half of the donut that he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And he went and grabbed for it. And I was like, uh oh. And I gave it back. <laughs> it to was him. really it crazy. Was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I'm like the guy who eats the best donuts, and I don't even know. I'm the wacky neighbor. Uh, right. In the beginning of the show, Lou goes, Now, this is my birthday donut. You know I need it. <laughs> and then I come in, and I got blood on my dick. And I go, I didn't touch that, kid. Give me a donut. <laughs> I love this so much. You hear one or two audience members go, uh-oh. <laughs> I, was, I was flipping around cable the other day, and I hit one of the, You know when you, you go to a, a sitcom, and in 10 seconds, you know the entire episode, and you just keep yeah, going? Yeah, yeah. It rolling. was the Wayans Brothers, which I've never watched once, so I have no memory <clears> of this. I, I cut to it. And there's uh, whatever Keenan or whoever, one of them, uh, backing away, scared from an older woman who's going, "Don't fight it, you know that we." And I just cut away, and I know the whole story. Uh, she thought that he liked her, and he's afraid of her, and she's, you know, maybe she caught some double entendre. Whatever. That, yes, she's like a thousand steel fan. Yeah. Yes. Why, why, why is yeah. it with sitcoms? He's like, black. She wants her <laughs> asshole. It's funny that she he's black. She wants her <laughs> asshole caved in with George Brett's bat from that fucking pine tar incident. <laughs> <laughs> Damon's cock resembles it, and that's the name. Because it's black. Yeah, <laughs> the name of the show. Just yeah, like the that show donut. is actually Cave in My Cunt. <laughs> and cave in my... Every week they have a, a different ethnicity. <laughs> cave in my cunt. With cave your black your cunt. Yes, uh, my cave cunt. My it's cave actually cunt. A wacky, like my favorite Martian. My cave cunt. My cave cunt. <laughs> On the third episode, they find Bin Laden up there. <laughs> cave in my she cunt. Just fucking warts. black. <laughs> Black guy bat of a dick. <laughs> they had they had a miss. They had like one of those funny threes company miscues. Mm -hmm. Oh, where they overheard the wrong oh, yeah. thing. They well, overhear he's someone. They're like fixing the stove or something. Yeah, and she hears "fuck me with your black cock, you <laughs> nigger." <laughs> and, then, and he meant and get me the, 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 the get me the monkey wrench. I'm trying to tighten and this the pipe. The woman's in the other room going. What's really going on in there? <laughs> <laughs> but of course he was just fucking her up the ass with his black cock. It wasn't what he she thought. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That she was really fucking the shit out of her that in the was, ass. And the lady <laughs> but the lady listening to her thought that somebody had dropped the Melba toast and was trying to put marmalade back in the That's jar. What really happened. And madness ensued. <laughs> so she took a diarrhea shit on the floor and tried to supplement the marmalade. <laughs> it's a nutty episode. It's called Stitches in the Asshole <laughs> and the Marmalade Incident. That was actually a Nancy Drew story. <laughs> At the end, she finds a fist in her vag. <laughs> Every stupid <laughs> fucking episode was one of them overhearing the Something. other two. Oh, Three's Company? Talking yeah. about some f fucking problem. Remember and, that? And, and then just making it sex. Remember that one where Mr. <laughs> Furley listened and he thought he heard, Hey, Jack's dead behind the sofa. <laughs> we had his son in! Oh what? my god! <laughs> what happened with the black cock in the asshole? Oh, I was ordering no, it. Oh, just, oh, oh, you remember that really? Louder. You remember, yeah. that, remember that other one where, uh... Kidding. <laughs> asshole. Remember the other one where it was fucking, uh... Where, where Mr. Mr. Uh, Furley leans in, and he thinks he hears, like, Suzanne Summers going, that Larry Klein couldn't act his way out of a fucking placenta bag. <laughs> <laughs> placenta bag. Yeah. And What's then, a placenta bag? Uh, it's just a bag it's, made of placenta. Right. Yeah. And it's then, a cunt. Then Joyce DeWitt right. is forced to eat pussy because of her hairdo. You guys remember that episode? <laughs> I love that one. Yes. Oh, the one when, uh, Chrissy's being raped by the repairman, and yes. then nobody comes in because they think it's a double entendre. Yeah. yeah. She's, She's going, going help stop me. raping me in my vagina. It's ruining my life. You're ripping the outsides of my vagina into pieces the with your giant black cock at the inside. And they thought it was a metaphor. They're on the other room going, like, I'm sure it's metaphorical. Yeah. It's not. Something I'm sure it doesn't really go. Right. And then they go in and she's crying and yeah. takes a shower with her knees up to her chest. She <laughs> laughs at no, because she, she, when she screams rape, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so they assume she was laughing like Just trying to snow. figure out what to get Jack for his birthday yes. or something. Yeah. And yeah, oh, I've shit. never seen this sitcom. But oh, it's I, wonderful. I'm, it I'm enthusiastic. It used to be called Man About the House in England. Oh, Man About the House. Right. Yeah, we all know yeah, yeah, They changed yeah, yeah, yeah. it to Three's it was Company like, here it was in the like two girls and a guy living there. Right. Right. How right. could they See? get along? Yeah. That's an odd number. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. What a good show that was. Hey, uh, oh, it sucked <laughs> here in the states. Louis just loving donuts. He's shoving fucking donuts in his face. I'm taking a bite out of every donut. He's fucking He's taking half He's a donut. He just wants He's to taste it. He's wrecking every donut. He's made it a donut <laughs> sampler. 
Oh, that's you right. fucked every donut up. Every you donut. better fucking eat those. It's like you pissed no, on your territory. That. That's, I don't yeah. Care. You've marked the fucking Dunkin' Donuts box. Look at you. You're, you're Homer trip, Simpson. Look at you. Oh, that's that's I'm a half a Homer Simpson. That's great. That's great. Though. Good one. Oh, God, oh boy. I'm trying to make myself feel bad. I went to the gym but yesterday. Oh. I'm going yeah. to the gym today. Me too. Luke. I'm you trying do to some offset swimming? it with some. No, I just do boxing. I love the. Oh, yeah. I went. I uh, yeah. uh, was trying to go two rounds with my trainer yesterday, and I had to take a knee after a half. Really? Second. Well, I went a whole round, and then halfway through the second round, I had to take. He didn't oh. hit me hard enough because he was trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's but just the, just the just the bobbing around. <laughs> I had to exhausting. take a knee and, and put a glove up to him, like please stop. Enough. No mas. No, the take donut'll an, help. No mas. <laughs> take a knee means you got to suck Lou Duva's cock. <laughs> Ooh, God, I'm with you. Lou Duva, the boxing yeah. promoter, ugliest man alive, yeah. including Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I, up on that hey, one. I, I want to change gears. Uh, we got something that's perfect for satellite radio. Remember the Kaplan brothers? No. no. Yes. Silence of the Lambs, the musical? Yes. No, oh. I've, I've never heard of them. Well, Silence of the Lambs, the, the musical. With, uh, I do remember that. So okay. okay. Uh, they, they're doing a takeoff on a high school musical. It's a parody. Know. It's called You're Different. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm. Listen to this. Hey, guys. I got an idea. Let's find all the kids who aren't like us and make fun of them for being different. That is a great idea. We can start with that gay-looking kid over there. He's really asking for it. <laughs> hey, faggot, fuck you, faggot, faggot, fuck you, you're different. You aren't welcome here, so get lost, you queer, you are different. And at three o'clock, we'll watch all the jocks kick your faggoty ass on the bus. Cause you're different, you're not like us. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the acne on that girl's face. She looks like a pizza. <coughs> that gives me an idea. <laughs> hey, pizza, fuck you, pizza, pizza, fuck you, you're different. <laughs> Your face is full of zits. Hey, you ask for it, you are different. So, so we laugh and spit and we give, give you shit. Cause your pimples are bruising with pus. You are different, you're not like us. You smell bad to the loser freaks, to the nerds and geeks, the retarded boy who can barely speak. Though we love and cheer, we still need you here, cause we miss having you to discuss. You are different, you're not like. Hey, fatty, fuck you, fatty. Different, <coughs> you're not like. Kaplan wow, Brothers. Like oh, Broadway. I guess it's like a song they do in the actual movie. I don't mm -hmm. know. I, don't, I would assume uh, yeah. so anyway. It's weird mm -hmm. because though they're making mm -hmm. fun of gay people. I was about to just say faggots. Faggots. <laughs> making fun of faggots for being different. I've heard that song. Where have I heard? But that's oh, my subconscious. Only because they're different. <laughs> right. Yes, not right? because but they're then, faggots. But then the uh, but then the the chick is ugly, which is a legitimate reason. It's uh -huh. not because she's different. It's because she looks bad. Yeah. yeah. And the other person smells bad. You're right. So it's not really the same category. Mm -hmm. right. what, do you, what do you mean? Race would be it's because they didn't want to say black or chink yes, or something. Yes, you're right. Exactly. You're so different say, than us. After so. faggot, well, what are they going to do? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, smelly, somebody with smelly, smelly people or smelly people. Smelly people. Because smelly people. That's a fucking brilliant point, man. They, they kept it safe. They, they should have peaked with yeah. faggot at the end, but they went faggot too soon, that's didn't right. they? Yeah. Because when faggot. they gave us faggot at the beginning, I thought, oh, we're gonna here get we the go. N word here. Here we go. Right, then, right. I thought she no, was gonna go or like fuck you, cunt, about the girl with the right. Zip. But yeah, then and then there was gonna be the slut, some slut or something was gonna come in. Yeah, pizza face. It actually becomes what it's making fun of. Yes, it becomes a little bit faggot, except with fucking it. Yeah, and, and faggot to just pick one group that no one's gonna mind that much. It should have been, yeah, they should have done that. Uh, hey, you chink, you dirty. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are your eyes so slanty? Exactly, you're different. Hey, you yeah. chink, you yeah. dirty. Have been about race. Yeah. Are you winking at me? I right. can't tell. Yeah. Because <laughs> you kind of, if your kids are making fun of somebody because they smell, you yeah. go, hey, don't, but yeah, she does yeah. smell. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wash your great, ass, that's dummy. That's a great fucking point, Louis just man. ruined it for everybody. <laughs> so Sorry. Louis made a great <laughs> point. Yeah, it was, it's trying, a it, was not, it was meant to be a nice hey. comedy moment. And you just... hey, look. Louis going to be at uh, Governor's in Levittown. Uh, I did not forget, Lou. Uh, that's all tonight. right. And, okay. and we got that clip that uh, Donut talking powder about. in his Oh, beard. yeah, Eagle Burger. The... You want to explain this? Okay. This was on NPR. But, all right. Uh, the important thing is, you know, Colin Powell's uh, endorsed Obama, and he said one of his big reasons was that <laughs> they, oh, they're donuts. Wow. Right. <laughs> Just donuts. a chunk of donut yeah. fell on the table. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. He refilled the jelly with that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pay, he said that Palin is not ready to be president, and that's a big that's a you know big reason why he didn't want to. Anyway, so then they Palin and uh, McCain keep saying, yeah, but Lawrence Eagleburger, who was a great Secretary of State, uh, endorses us. So this is Lawrence Eagleburger being asked on NPR, and uh, he's on NPR to make the case for for McCain. <laughs> yeah, like he's yeah. There. That was the, the 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 title of the segment. I know. I'm laughing the at all we, the we powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. There's powdered sugar all over his arms. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe you're in Pull charge over. of yeah. wiping someone's ass. Nice. He's like <laughs> fucking Tony Montana. <laughs> Tony Montana. When, fuck, when fucking know. Sosa's people are coming through the fucking balcony window. <laughs> fucking or his sister, his sister <laughs> shooting the at Diaz him. Brothers. He's, he's got 40 Colombians coming to cut his throat. Yeah. And he goes, gotta get organized. And he puts the phone back in the hole. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I know, that seems great. And that's how he's going to combat. <laughs> I gotta get organized. I gotta get organized. Oh get my organized. god. Gotta his go. phone is in the cradle. <laughs> Leave everybody. <laughs> And that gotta get organized. Corny organized. fucking eighty sunglasses on the guy when the when the fucking blows his back out oh, with a shotgun yeah. because Sosa says so. Yes. I told oh. you a long time ago not to fuck me with powdered sugar on you, you <laughs> fucking little monkey. Don't fuck me, Tony. <laughs> I told you, Jesus. And he's wearing a he silk. into a woman during. He's wearing the, a silk the robe. There we go. Yeah, he's that having is. a drug I murder. I told you, <laughs> don't fuck me, Tony. <laughs> okay, just take it easy, man. Jesus fucking Christ, you <laughs> faggot. Our friend found the bomb, Tony. This is silk roll. It's okay, we'll do it again. It's okay. It's okay. Here's the bad guy. Everybody take a look at the bad guy. With my donuts. <laughs> with my fucking donuts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck fuck you! Donuts. <laughs> All right, is the powder off here so we can play this clip? Yeah. And take it seriously. So All he's, right, so he's making the case for McCain. He's on NPR Taylor, making right. the case, and he gets asked if Palin is ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you entirely comfortable with Sarah Palin as the vice president of the United States, that she would be ready to take over in, in a crisis uh, if, if she should be, uh, terribly be called upon to do so? <laughs> it's a very good question. I'm being facetious here. Look, I don't, of course not. I don't think at the moment... <laughs> She is prepared to take over the reins of the presidency. I can name for you any number of other vice presidents who were not particularly up to it either. So uh, the question, I think, is can she learn and would she be tough enough under the, present, under the circumstances if she were asked to become president? Heaven forbid that that ever takes place. Give her some time uh, in the office, and I think the answer would be she will be adequate. I can't say that she would be a genius in the job, but I think she would be enough to get us through a, a four-year, well, I hope not, yeah. get us through whatever period of time is necessary, worse, and I devoutly hope that it would never be tested. Tested. <laughs> wow. Devoutly and that was supposed hope. to be good for McCain. Now, who is Lawrence uh, Eagleburger? Uh, he was the Secretary of State under uh, the first Bush. I tell you, that's a ringing endorsement he gave her. Yeah. 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 Why yeah. did you just go? She's a dumb cunt. This is yeah. how bad she is that people that desperately want to fucking back McCain go, like, I can't go. I can't tell uh, people. He, she's he, okay. He uh. basically went like this. He went, well, there's been other shit ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So but, and then, then he couldn't even go down that. And he goes, so I guess she would look adequate, and I really hope it doesn't. On the job that. training she might help. He can't say it. He can't say it. Yeah. He's too Amazing. honest. Amazing. He's like, all right, maybe in like, time. It's so fucked up because people should have McCain as a choice. Like, he's a, a good guy, and everyone should have a candidate they like. But how can people responsibly risk this fucking retarded cunt being president? He's a dumb yeah, motherfucker that's... for allowing that to happen. He's really an idiot Do you for think it's it. him, though, or did the Republicans see her? Did, I wonder if the Republicans saw Obama as almost unbeatable um, and McCain being so old, they're like, Dude, "Why would I be a vice you know president what? for this yeah, guy?" You forget no, about. They had to bring you, in a girl. You forget Hillary about thing. Hillary and how big and important Maybe. it was when when they chose uh, uh, Palin. Hillary had just 
she got knocked out of the race. It was yeah, pretty much all the women. And there were was other so, women in but there was so party. much. There was so much yeah. like hoopla she was about that as well. that it was like we got to get a woman. Now, if you think back, it's like who, who fuck cares about, about Hillary, Hillary anymore? It, it wouldn't. It's a and woman's that vote. This vote like that was a knee short, jerk. It was a short sighted knee jerk. Yep. stupid fucking irresponsible Dumb thing move. to do. I thought we it's talked a, about it was, this. It was, you know, well, what, Jimmy? We were going to agree with each other. Oh, oh, but I made oh, a point. Sure. Oh, oh, I make a point. Oh, shit, you sure. agree with it and go good point. Look, look, right. I'll, 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 just, point. I'll distract right. everyone. Gene Simmons. Right. Ah, oh, fucking no. asshole. <laughs> Gene <laughs> Simmons. That guy. Yeah. 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 With his kiss. With his I love fucking kiss. ass. Yeah, with his makeup. Douchebag. I love I'm gonna, I'm Disrespect gonna... me, that motherfucker. I don't like that oh, at all. Fuck him. What do I have to do to vote in this election? I'm uh, in town. I want to have a go. Denounce that have fucking European no. shit house. I want to have a go. I'm just, I'm just going to walk in there and just tell them I'm somebody. Denounce, what did you say? That European shit house yeah. called England and no, move here and take up citizenship. I'm, I'm an Australian citizen. I know I, that. I've actually just passed my British citizenship test. You'd have to defect. What? You'd have to defect from Australia. Where are you from originally? I'm Australian. Originally, you were, you, where were you yes. born? I was born, I'm Australian. My I was born in Sydney. My okay. cousin had Seven a, years ago, I moved to England. All right, seven years ago, you moved to England. Now I'm trying to get my British citizenship. Oh, see, I thought you were from England uh, and no. needed your Aussie. You don't sound no, Australian. No, 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 I'm a, no, I sound, sound Australian. You kind yeah, of sound does. more English. Yeah, no, I'm Australian. No, of oh, guy. Jesus, oh, mate. What are you bloody talking about? No, how that, Australian do you want me to be? That sounds there. Australian. Yeah, I know, but who wants to speak like this all fucking day? You sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> people people got to take you. See, I'm working against the clock so I don't sound like this. <laughs> I, I, I put this voice on. This isn't my real voice. My real voice is fucking struth, you cunt. <laughs> fucking. I like, my, this, I like the Australian one better. My, my dad's. We should call him up one day. He's the most Australian man ever. Really? Like, oh, I didn't think there's anything outside the whole place. <laughs> he thinks it's a wonderful country. He, 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 at the moment, the bloke's building a fucking pizza oven in his backyard. <laughs> right? Just uh, like a big. Fucking For what? That means he's really saying. <laughs> he just a pizza oven, <laughs> and then kids are disappearing in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking. Uh, his name is Uncle yeah. Hungry, and he has a big pile of secondhand shoes. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Little kid shoes. Uh, well, <laughs> worst thing ever. You know that Russian fucking guy, that Russian serial killer, Sadowski, whatever his name was. Who killed? He would hang little boys All right. and jerk off watching them. Really? Like he was a horrible oh, wow. guy. Oh, this Jesus. footage. I like how you put the word horrible wow. guy in the end. Like, like we I couldn't mean, he's a horrible guy. Otherwise, he's a pretty decent yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 But a hell of a poker player. Yeah. 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 But he kept the trains running on time. <laughs> killed kids, but a good speller. I mean, you take that for what it's worth. But no, he, there's actually footage of that now uh, uh, of some of these partial killings Jesus on, a, on that awful website I think I saw that it's fucking yeah I saw one I didn't click on the fucking thing though because I can't watch shit like no, that you don't see it's not graphic it's really bad footage. I don't even I don't I can't I can't look at anything really gross I could look at people like um certain suicides jumping out of buildings if you don't see anything I can't look at gunshot suicides they're too messy no I don't like looking at those any any sexual perversion I will fucking revel in uh, online. I don't care what it is. I'll, I'll, uh -oh. I'll at least give it a look. I can watch a good fight. A good fight is uh, great, too. A, yeah. a good punch Fights up. are good. Fight. Any surveillance camera of a holdup, even when people get shot, then those are fine. But for some reason, the suicide thing gets me. But I love watching uh, the bad guys get shot in, like, convenience store uh, security cameras. I love seeing some fucking dumb yeah. son of a bitch come yeah. up good, good. and the guy just pulls a gun out and blows his head off. Yeah. Those I could watch all day. Yeah. But uh, so, like uh, uh, accidents, I've seen shit where uh, it's like warning graphic uh, and they'll have a still picture of just some blood and some flesh. Mm -hmm. But it's video and it says guy loses half his body and is still moving. Oh, under the truck? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Either the truck fucking drives away slowly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't watch that. The guy is, here's what it is. It's, it's in the Middle East. Still fucking moving. There's a oh, wait, Middle East? Yeah. Okay, that I could watch. I don't care. Right, because they're not people? I don't care if it's far <laughs> away. It's, <laughs> like, I'll watch, I'll watch fucking Iraqis getting blown up, shit like that. Yeah. If it's an American sniper shot on an Iraqi, I'll watch that. No, I won't watch like Iraqi on American. No, this is I like can't National watch that. Geographic. No, no, uh, I, I still feel bad about it. It's a person National person. Geographic. I don't, I care don't give a shit. I, I a guy, 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 you room. are a what? fucking tree-hugging liberal. I, I just said a person's a person. I feel no, bad I, if anyone dies, man. I feel bad certain things. If it's some fucking insurgent, I don't give a shit. You know, and I'm sure he's got a lovely family and everything. No, I, the one time I was watching Fox News right at the beginning of the war, of the Iraq war, and uh, there was some woman with blonde hair anchoring the news, and they showed footage of a bunch of guys packed into, like, a Datsun, 
Um, Uh-oh. and one of them had like a shitty wreck rickety gun that he's sticking out the window <laughs> oh, and no. a fucking black hawk just comes and riddles it with billions oh, of bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you watch a bunch of guys die. Yeah. And then they come back and the woman was laughing and said, ha ha, how did they <laughs> think they were going to fight us with that, with that oh, gun? Oh, look at that silly stuff. Laughing at somebody fucking dying. I, it's just, I it's saw, so I, I would have to bag Dude, that. I know that. I saw, I, saw I love the Apache him. footage. I love that shit. I can't get enough of watching them shoot trucks, shoot people in the field. You see that night vision shit and oh, just watch them, watch them come apart. Yeah. Oh, it's great right, hang stuff. On, hang on, wait, watch My this tax dollars mean? at work, at least uh, being used for something that entertains me. Watch this one. Oh, this is fun at a little s- nice party. The kid's holding it's a, a gun. It's a kid holding a gun, and he oh, puts it up to the guy's side. And No, no, the kid's fine. He shoots the guy right in the fucking side. Oh, boy, there's he the He shot reaction. the guy in the side. I say fake. Accident. I say fake. It doesn't look really? like, too much. Know. Too much instant blood. The kid's not okay. I think there's a squib. That's horrible for a kid to go through that. I know that looked pretty good. Okay. Oh, I think yeah, that's real. real. I think that's real. That yeah, looked pretty real. The Kids footage I was talking three, about, right? the guy three under the four? truck. It's like a cement truck. It's a <laughs> massive truck. Yeah. He's alive. He, he, from from the waist down is crushed. He's like he's stuck to the fucking road, and then the truck tries to slowly back away. But the guy is stuck to the wheel, so Oops. his body starts peeling. Ah. It's fucking uh, horrendous. That is a bad one. Why, shouldn't, shouldn't why have gone into that truck would, then. I don't know. Yeah. Well, go to that, Dan, you gotta find that. That's a great one. You, pa- on this. you yes. parents are fucked up. What? You can't watch shit with kids Check involved the last page. in it. Yeah, you yeah, automatically yeah, right. think, like every time the cop will be like, I got a kid home that age. It was the worst thing crime scene I walked into. Walked in and to see that scene, I have children at home their age. <laughs> like, so what? Give right. a fuck. Your kids are fine. This is some other kid. It's just yeah, but it's a yeah, kid. It's, it's kid. Someone being but killed it before they've done something. anything with it's their lives. A, no one it's really just an cares. Of, I do. No, you don't. I'm a good guy. You don't really I'm care. Not I'm a good guy. Just you don't I'm a nice care. Bloke. If you, you have, have culture, if you, <laughs> I'm a nice bloke. Yeah. I'm just better. I'm a good guy. I, I start laughing when they get over a hundred and being hit. That, that's that my cracks laugh point. me up too. I don't know about this Aussie faggot, but I have. At least I'm not British anymore. Fantastic. All right. Speaking for parents. You just, it's a instinct. I think it's just an empathetic instinct. Oh, if a kid, because you just picture it. Kool Aid drinking the, motherfucker. The thought of your own kid. I don't, there wasn't a person on the earth that yeah. I cared if they got raped or killed uh-huh. until I had children. Yeah. Even it, my mom, I would have been like, oh, bummer. I don't yeah, but what want that. my own kids. When I picture stuff, like some, I can't like let myself daydream about certain things. Like the <sighs> idea of my kids being abducted. That kind of thing. I can't. Like, it's so upsetting. By the way, I got so, a great joke yeah. we can play on, Louis. Okay. So when I, where are they we'll, now, Louis? We'll, we'll, you know we'll, we'll right plan it later. We'll plan so it later. So when I see oh a kid, God. like when <laughs> I see a thing about it a kid. Halloween. This is when uh, most of the abductions happen. happen. into him, I can't. I got to stay yeah. away. I can't. See, I never, I, I never it. want that. I never want that fucking pressure. You never want to feel bad when you hear kids get abducted? Yes. Oh, God. That's the suicide bomb. Let me see. That's the suicide bomb. That's the guy who left his leg. Jesus. You never want to feel bad when I don't want to feel bad about that. I don't, I don't want to care. I don't, don't want to care. Imagine not being able to enjoy that. I don't want to care. Find the truck one. Yeah. I, I don't, don't want to care, care about it. I, I don't want to care about it. I felt the same people. way when I, I read this thing about Steven Spielberg and how, you know, at the end of uh, oh, uh, E.T., when he put the fucking b- walkie talkies in the hands instead of guns. No. He did that because of his kids. That's not what I'm talking about. But that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know which one Louis means. Yeah. Yeah. Where he made the shark yeah. a giant fucking Just because he doesn't have a child. Yes. That's what it was. And instead of biting, like, uh, fucking, when instead of biting made... Robert Sean half, it just goes, oh, and, yeah. and he laughs. And he goes, because it tickled his tootsies. Yes, and then he mm-hmm. shits on its teeth. <laughs> the close Encounters, there's, yeah. at the end, Richard Dreyfus. Yes, I, I read get, about that, too. Gets on a spaceship and leaves the, or the world. Yep. He had a wife and kids. Uh, you know, his wife was kind of a cunt, but, it, you know, the kids didn't do anything. Which one isn't? Yeah. And so he says, uh, Steven Spielberg said that he didn't have kids when he made that. And that as a father, he would never would have had a father. Yeah. Leave his, leave his kids like would that. would have done it. And I remember reading that and thinking, fuck him. Right. Because the first one was the honest movie. And who gives yep. a shit what you become? If later you're, you're changing. And I still believe that. I don't believe as a creative person. In changing stories, change what I think that's your vision. I would never, in a time. million years, refrain from doing a story about a kid getting hurt because I just don't think people really should want it. That's just, I mean, come mm-hmm. on, it's a child. Yeah, I mean, I made a TV show about two bad parents who smoke out the window while the kid's sleeping. What I don't believe. Show? I don't think what. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you had a hell of a cast. Friends, I was on Friends with uh, Matthew. Uh, no Perry and LeBlanc. 
and LeBlanc. LeBlanc. <laughs> Or I was remember Joey, Matthew. the Matthew. fucking sitcom that came after. Joey, Joey was a poor <laughs> fucking. <laughs> what a I was, I, by the way, I was at Sundance Film Festival, and Matthew Perry. I met him at a. a we were at the bar of a like a movie party, and it was a free bar. They're giving free drinks. But anyway, this one brings us our drinks. He, he got a diet coke, and I got a whatever. <laughs> and so I give her twenty bucks, the bartender, and he goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's it's free. They're free drinks." And I go, "Yeah, I know. I'm giving her a tip." And he goes, "That's way. He's totally serious. That's way too much." You're giving her way too Dude, much. Dude, friends money. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm fine with it. And he goes, no, 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 no. Like, he's literally taking my arm and, like, keeping me from doing it. And the woman goes, he can tip me whatever he wants to. And I go, yeah, man, it's okay. I, Holy I've shit. I've been getting free drinks my whole life. What? I'm a comedian. You, yeah. you pass that, you pass that yeah. on, the savings on to the wait staff. You don't just fucking pocket the... But this guy has a fucking, literally, probably close to a billion dollars. Especially in front yeah. of her to say that. And he's what a trooper. anxious <laughs> that a stranger is tip, over-tipping an, a, 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 yeah. wor a working mm -hmm. girl in Park City, Utah. That, that, that is a lot, though. 20 for two cokes. Maybe bro. he what knew a... you were a little strapped. <laughs> <laughs> he's just helping you out. Yeah, yeah, dude, I've seen your show. Keep it. <laughs> Keep it. What a... you're, gonna, you're gonna need this. <laughs> what, fuck him right in the mouth, an asshole. Oh, dude. You know what though? Maybe thing. you never know. Maybe that's was some kind of Hollywood insider thing that they do just so people months or years later still talk about them. Right, right. You're planting little <laughs> like, seeds. Like we're we're sitting there and we now yeah, you're conveying this out. story because he was an asshole one yeah, day. Now he's on the radio. And he, he doesn't have a movie out or anything. No. Well, it, it is careers done, isn't it? He's yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know he's Matt LeBlanc. Every time Matt LeBlanc was in a movie, that's a different guy. Matt, I, yeah, Matt, but, I went to high school with Matt. But every time he's in a movie, I'm like, oh, good, Joey got a part. Yeah. That's what it just feels like. Joey, Joey's yeah. got an act. I always think it's Joey's was, he, acting. He was something, something about him though. He was just likable. Oh, he was great. <laughs> Lost in Space, the remake of Lost in Space. I went to high school with him. He was a jock. He just no, nobody. He never. I never heard him talk. Yeah. In high school, just a quiet. Jock You're the same age with as with the him. same girlfriend. Yeah, same same class. Jeez, he's aged better, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> yeah, most definitely physically. Look at I'm this. I'm still great working thing. though. Drinking while pregnant. Study. A little alcohol won't hurt. Just a All little. Right. Ah, a little yeah. Sip here and there. there. you go. Smoking makes the yeah. hole wider and lighter. That's good. <laughs> little alcohol won't hurt. <laughs> oh, but just gives him a mo haircut. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It won't hurt unless you're talking about SAT scores. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and actually... your your family pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Take crack and the pregnancy won't bother you at all. <laughs> Everything in moderation. Don't yeah. pour the whiskey directly into her pussy while she's out <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> Doing a headstand. Just... Yeah. I wonder whether that would get a baby drunk if you did that. Mm. No, because they're breathing so. through the tube. And yeah, they're, they're taking it in through their umbilical cord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you could absorb it through sure. the skin. Well, drinking. I, I don't, I don't think skin. it'll ever be tested. I don't think that yeah. the, well, federal <laughs> funds will. <laughs> <less, laughs> the, the fourth can a baby get drunk? Maybe you're in the fourth whiskey Reich. in her pussy. <laughs> yeah. Is that, those Germans is get a little bad nasty the again? Fuck it. Very <laughs> controversial uh, study going on. Yeah. The French will do it. I get sure. the best idea for a reality show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. You get a woman, a pregnant woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she fucking smokes and drinks alcohol mm. through the whole pregnancy. Or a couple of pregnant women, because you got to have them pitted against each other for some reason. And then you gamble the on how scared up the baby you, will you be. You gamble on what kind of fucking thing she pops out. <laughs> the most <laughs> heinous thing that comes out wins. And you win like a fucking a set of matching Mets beanbag chairs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Something awful. <laughs> Mets beanbag chairs. And at any time during, at any time during the show. A set of them? We have set. one for you and one for the abomination that fell out of your fucking broken womb. <laughs> At any time during the show, any of the other contestants can drop out by their husbands kicking them in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. Wow, way to hurt us yeah. in the fucking ratings, Hans. Yeah. <laughs> I had a hit, and all of a sudden you got Come a on, we're brainstorming the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Sponsored by Timberland. This is a pitch. Yeah. It's a pitch meeting. Yes. They have abortion weekends. Uh, and stuff. <laughs> the end of the, end of the week. But at we the end, here's what it is. Here's how you make it okay. At the mm. end... Mm -hmm. You find out that the, it was it was just iced tea, not really whiskey. Oh, and the cigarettes that's fun, then. Were, were like, oh. and the kids just retarded because you're bad, ugly genes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they go through a DNA thing. Because you thing. fucked your brother, you whore. So, yeah, so so <laughs> no, he's it's not even a retarded re placebo. Yeah. He's not even retarded. They just do a little bit of fucking uh, what's it called CGI on a regular kid. Ah. And they fucking just. By the way, why does Sarah him? Palin know the 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 joys and difficulties of, of having a. It's a uh, baby. It's a baby. She's retarded just, at that age. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're all it's fucking. It's so hard I thought she having has, a one-day-old yeah. retarded she, kid. I thought she had two and retarded kids. By the way, if you're kids. really, a, she, she had, she has one. And by the way, the kid's name, she named him Trick. 
Isn't that his name? Trig? Or Trig. He Trig. Trig. Yeah, right anyway. name yes. for retarded kids. That's short Trig. for Trig. Why don't you just name him yes. Tee Hee? I'm a fucking retard. Yeah, Trig. <laughs> Trig. He'll say hey, that Trig. <laughs> He'll say that oh, wrong in front of his black friends and get his face punched in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they probably went through every name that couldn't rhyme with dummy or retard. <laughs> what's, like, what's the disability he's got? He's got Down syndrome, but he's a uh, little tiny baby. He's that's like, the uh, best of all the disabilities, old. though. That's the one you want to have. Why? Well, I used to be a disabled carer for a while. They're happy. They've got big dicks and they yes. can lift heavy things. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. all you want to do in the world. They're the two yeah. quintessential things to live in society to be yeah. happy. It's like but being on PCP in. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but they, you know. Wow, to trade in all your intelligence. For, for just well, a you're big cock and, 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 yeah. and to lift heavy and happiness. Like they're always smiling. You, when was the last time you were happy at a balloon? Exactly. <laughs> wow. yeah. When was the last time you I've were written, willing I've, to jack off on the subway? I've written, yeah. I've written <laughs> a sexual true. thriller for Down syndrome people called Eyes Wide Apart. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it made. Oh. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they are, though. Their eyes are wider apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's part of the uh, physical attributes is. of... Because uh, well, their genes are fucking retarded. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's so their genes I'm are trying, all messed I'm up. Telling you, if I you look at their genes with a microscope, they're uh, googly eyes. I used to work. You know, you, know how your, you know how your DNA strands look? Theirs looks like one of those twisted twist, slinkies yeah. that you can't fix, yeah. <laughs> or else it gets that kink in it. Yeah. I, I tell, I tell, in, in the disabled what world, what falls downstairs real... alone or in pairs and makes a duh sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's done, me. It's done, me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it embarrasses you in front of your friends <laughs> and puts his finger in the wall socket. <laughs> he waves his dick at younger kids. Everyone knows he's a dummy. 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 He thinks his shit is a magical toy. <laughs> 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 I went to a camp uh, for kids that are fucked mm, up. Yeah. I guess. Say that on the sign out front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Drop <laughs> fucked up kids here. It was just like a camp cup fucked up. Wasn't even, you didn't even sign up. It was just like a like a you know a drop off for fucking Salvation Army. You just fucking leave your kid um, out front. It's a, it's a circle with a brain in it and a line through it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mata. Hello, Fada. I am here at Camp Retarda. <laughs> <laughs> camp is very entertaining. They said you can't come in if you are braining. <laughs> oh my god, Boo. that's it. Boo. Oh, I didn't know. Boo. I didn't know. I got caught up with brain. Aid. I was getting nervous for you at entertaining. <laughs> yeah, oh, please, because I'm thinking, on, that's a tough one. I know. Ah. Mm. Uh, no, I, I, I went to this camp uh, in near Boston, and uh, it was a day camp. I didn't stay over there. I don't care if I cut you off. Wait till you find a way. Wasn't going to be good. Mm. No, it was. I had a good. Uh, all right, yeah, go yeah, yeah. Let's set it up. Drum roll. Entertaining. Look at. Go ahead. No. No. Let's too much pressure now. I don't know if it's going to be great. Uh -oh. it, it was a retard song. He's got a retard Give song. Give a shot, Jimmy. Let's go. Camp is very entertaining. Yes. Mm -hmm. They said you can't come in if you're braining. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. No, no That was it? Already. No. That, you already did that. You had another one, though, right? I did, but I have no faith. It's fantastic. <laughs> it. If you're a spastic. <laughs> That's, That's not bad. Entertaining. <laughs> um, oh. They say your, your pants with shit that you'll be staining. <laughs> there you go. Hey. All right. He shit himself. Uh, that was uh, he's stupid. That was it, but I couldn't just go into it. <laughs> of course not. What's that? Explaining. Uh -huh. Explaining? <laughs> no. What? Oh, oh Danny oh, did a written bomb. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, that was a Charlie just, Chaplin bad joke. Yeah, <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. The Charlie Chaplin. That was pretty good. <laughs> Should have been a piano playing in the background <laughs> when you held it up. <laughs> 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 I get into this. Because <laughs> you wrote something wrote down. Word. <laughs> that rhymed. I figured maybe you could help Jim think of something. What a, what a lousy word. <laughs> it's a word. Thanks yeah. for the effort, Danny. With, so, that, <laughs> we, with that, we should take a break. We got a musical uh, guest but, here. But, but Lewis is going to tell us about when he went to Spec nah, Camp. After the yes. break. After the I break. I want to hear that. After, you, after, after the break. All right, please. We really do have to break because we've got to get a live read in. And Ooh. Roland has a musical guest that he uh, he's bringing in for us. Okay. Or Does him he? or somebody. I don't know. I showed my they want to be to a, I showed my penis to a retarded girl once when I was nine. Oh, so I'll tell you about right. that later. Oh, yeah. right. this, she wasn't retarded this. before that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. And this was recently. All right, we're uh, back with the O A show. Louis C.K. Governor's Levittown tonight, yes, and then uh, Jim Jeffries tomorrow. Tomorrow, early and late, and Sunday. And Sunday, Caroline. Speaking of Carolines, we got Greg Charles here, who brought a guest by or something. Where is Greg Charles? Mr. Charles, sir. 
There he is, Greg Charles. Greg Charles? Well, you're all Greg Charles to me, so... What's up, Greg? Stand up and say... Greg? Thank you. Greg! Hey, Greg. How are you? Greg Charles. You brought us a musical guest? You're usually bringing us comedians. Yeah, uh, a buddy of mine. <coughs> we, start, we started managing. We got a little business on the side. Oh, oh look at that. Here? Huh? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, always yeah, on the yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, he's a kid who used to work at Caroline's. And, I uh, remember you. you. And you know, yeah. He used to Huge fan of the yeah. show. <laughs> Sorry, but... I'd always true. walk up to him because I thought he was Adam Ferrara. <laughs> <laughs> Guy used to sit us, and now he's, uh, you know, doing the music thing. That's right. Very cool. Yeah, man. All right. So what are we going to do today? Sing a song? Sing a cool? song or two? Is that all right? This so, is uh, a little... Uh, uh, well, you know something? A little music uh, for uh, uh, Roland. Yeah. Roland's uh, a big fan. You've seen him a couple times. It's our, it's our last... Uh, Roland, you like these guys? These are our last minutes here. with Roland. Yeah. Are you going to get choked up, Roland? Dun, dun, dun. Are you going to get a little choked dun, up that this dun, is pretty much it? Yeah. <laughs> well, there it is. Cheep, 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 Roland, what can you tell us about these guys? Um, I know Brian. What's your last name, Brian? Fink Finkart. I know it's a weird one. That's going to be tough in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me. That's going to be a tough name in Hollywood. Fink I thought about going with Flash Charisma. Finkart. Fen Fenkart. Fenkart. F e n k a r t. F e n k a r t. Yeah, so long to that. Yeah. I'm open to suggestions. Get a stage yeah. name. Man. Yeah, and Roland, uh, you've, seen, you've seen Brian a few Adams. times. Yeah, a few times down at uh, the bitter end. <laughs> Wait, and the girl sings too. Yeah, that's Perry. She sings with us. It's Jeremy. Hi. Right hey, what's up? Yeah. And what's the name of the band? Fencart. <laughs> Just Brian Fencart. I write all the stuff. I can't give them too much credit. Oh wow. Oh, hey, oh, all right. Oh, I kid. I love a riff in the band. It's Brian and the Expendables. They haven't yeah. even gotten <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, right. Now say, we're on to something. Wait, yeah. Brian, before you say Roland's stomach hurts, what's the matter? Yeah, Roland. Do you have to, do you have to go What's the matter, the Roland? Are you sad? It's the pain of leaving. <laughs> no, I'm good. You want to make a duty? No, you want to make a duty? <laughs> Save it for Earl's death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that's a hell of a way to leave. Could you do that? Oh, you yeah. want to blow some diarrhea into my asshole? <laughs> Are you upset? Yeah. And then Louis, I'll shoot it out later. <laughs> Louis won't wipe your ass. That. You're that's learning what these kids do. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, yeah, somebody blowing diarrhea into another person's asshole, and then, and then the second yeah. person shitting it out. That's, nice. that's something new. I, I bet seen you that. someone's done it. You seen it? I'm sure seen it. I bet you someone's <laughs> shut into a funnel and then they funneled it into someone's sure, asshole. Now, 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 you're, now it's complicated. Yeah. Find that for me. All right, let's get to let's get back to Brian. We're talking about shit, and this is his big moment. Yeah, he didn't picture his big moment to be you know this like this. No one ever does. His mom, his mom, I knew it had to go to that. When's my moment? Yeah, his mom's listening on it. So yeah, hi. All right, all right. You know, Anthony, you remember this, but two years ago, you know that I was your New Year's kiss. Do you know you kissed me on the cheek in Times Square? You were wasted. Who? Not me. Who are you talking to? All right. Did did you blow me? Yeah, you never asked. <laughs> oh, shit. Shy Anthony. How did that happen? <laughs> Two years ago? I don't know. You probably had your little fucking 2006 <laughs> Tiara on. Wait, I, there's something else going on here. Hip Hop Ron is just holding a wireless mic to the, to the fucking guitar. Yeah, yeah Steve's uh, holding a mic to guitar. This is like Hip -hop a multi million dollar Yeah, he's studio. got a lot of experience with guitars. He's miking the fucking neck. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, that's where all the sound comes that's out cool. of the neck. That won't distract him at all as he's playing. Your yeah. arm yeah. reaching across the neck yeah. of the guitar. Mm -hmm. To get the sound of the guitar. Great. What you, Congratulations, what? you're a mic stand. Ron, why don't you crouch down and actually mic the, the sound hole? Yeah. There you go. Sound All right, use that's that. what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. now, now, what about the other guy? No. Uh, All right, there we go. All right. All right, so let's, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, yeah. My heart's getting heavy, my blood's getting cold. <laughs> Should we do it? My heart's getting heavy, my blood's getting cold You change me into something that I just can't control If you see me coming, biscuit out of my way The pendulum is swinging back the other way <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's a pendulum fan out there <laughs> Damn. All right. A little taste of oh, yeah. Always good to get a little of the foundry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a remake of, 
of Steve's uh, wonderful song called Pendulum yeah. oh, back okay. uh, when he was in a band. Yeah, it's a okay. fantastic song. That's just for Steve, man. What a hit. Yeah, that was, Thanks for hooking us up. That was Brian Frenkart's version. <laughs> Frenkart. Frenkart. I'm Ted Frenkart. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, Ted wants to be part of your yes. band, Frenkart. I like your last name, Frenkart. It rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> Like well, thanks for making it sound appetizing, guys. And it's Brian yeah. Fencart, uh, and you make it even more difficult because you spell Brian differently than most. B R uh, B with a Y, I spell it right. B well, you spell it with a Y. Y? Yeah, B R Y A N. You English cigarette. Fencart F E N K A R T on MySpace. There it is. And BrianFencart dot com. All right, what are you singing for us for real? Uh, this is a song off my album that's available on iTunes called Imperfect Man. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's called Hammer to Fall. All right. Do, uh, to Roland's request. Make it count. <laughs> Brian Fenkart. Well, thanks, guys. There it is. Very good, man. Uh, it's called the album is called Imperfect Man on iTunes. Do you actually sell CDs, or is it just all going through uh, all, all going through iTunes? I sell them at shows, but mostly digital. So yeah, iTunes is the place. Does yeah, so you don't have to pay fucking some record the future. company. Yeah, it's, does it's, Greg Charles take all the money? The future. <laughs> Most. Most, Most of the money, yeah. <clears throat> oh, is Greg your manager? Yeah. Is Caroline's manager? Yeah, 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 yeah. Greg is uh, managing us, yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. You have a uh, phonograph album out? <laughs> <laughs> Stereophonic sound. It's on vinyl. Are you playing out? Yeah, well, our next show is uh, November 11th, Rockwood Music Hall, Lower East Side. We're playing at 8, if anybody's uh, very local. Good. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah, right. yeah. It's Pussy Rock, we know. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're, we're aware. <laughs> But anything well, on acoustic guitar is pussy if it, rock. If it gets your pussy, Yo. there you go. That's all that matters, right? I would neither confirm nor deny. Uh -huh, well, Even pendulum. Sounds young. a little pussy. Well, like pendulum. I've never heard it quite put that way. Pendulum. Uh, the pendulum. pendulum is swinging back. <laughs> all right. Steve. You're going to wrap well, up Thank now. you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. And well, thank sir. Thank you, guys. All right. So we um and uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely wrap up because we, we gotta we gotta be all energized for the big Halloween party tonight. Yeah. yeah. So I gotta go home and take a, a little nap. Uh, Ooh. Anthony, back into the city? Are you nuts? Uh, yeah. Get a fucking oh hotel room. You're, you're a fucking millionaire. Go fuck your mother. A fucking millionaire. Get a hotel right? room. You just come a room. Folk Anthony, you can I come back to go me. Home. I got a hotel room. I got, it's not like I'm fucking. It's a double bed. We won't touch each other. All right. You can sleep in my daughter's bed. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, well, uh, sleep in my kid's if, bed. If she assumes that, fucking yeah. wipe the ass All position. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that, that, was... that same position is a porn position. <laughs> It's like uh, if she. No, I'm just saying. Look, look. Yeah, but what that, position no disrespect. Isn't. But that yeah, position right. is her yeah. grabbing your your legs, grab sucking legs. your dick, and you're reaching okay, over to, diddle, to, diddle. to diddle. No, no. He, 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 that's he, a position. he never said she sucked his dick. I wasn't face. saying I that. I'm saying the position. Difference. It's he, called was, make the donuts. There was implication for everyone. Said no. She's smaller than a. If you were talking about two grown adults, yeah, you're yeah. picturing it correctly. But yeah. if you're talking about someone who's about two feet long in, in her entirety, yeah. Her, yeah, her little hard. head is at my calves. Mm -hmm. yeah, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Jesus, oh, Jimmy. Oh, my God. Sorry. The way he just goes. Me, yeah. me, me and Jimmy are wanking each other off under the table. To the story. As I'm wiping the shit out of her. <laughs> New yeah. asshole. Is it oh, brand, dirty new a shit? brand new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Curtain opens up. That's what you win on the fucking Price is Right if you get the mountain climber game right. <laughs> you doodly. Yes, you doodly. I guess forty nine fifty for the brand new asshole. Doodly, doodly, oh. There were some people on Pal Dark that wanted me to toodly do during wow, the song. Yeah. A toodly do. I'm gonna toodly do. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hold yeah, on. come got, on. Fuck got this naps shit. To take. The audience, though. What about them? Um, what about Are you guys her? going to the Halloween party? I think tonight? they've been good. Yeah. They look like they're from a Comic Con. Because yeah. we have <laughs> yes. uh, we have prizes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's to gag. give away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. What were they doing? I don't yeah. know what the fuck they were. They were trying to make a fool out of somebody. Mm -hmm. Think it happened to the Jimmy. Were they pulling your leg? <laughs> <laughs> It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. No. All right, we got to get the plugs out. Let's go. We hey, got Louis C.K. at Governor's in Levittown tonight. Yeah, Louis at Governor's. Big I'm also whoop. a good Jim's in fucking... All right, oh, never mind. No, God. 
Louis, where are you? Next weekend, I'm in Greensboro, Pennsylvania. Sweet. And Columbus, Ohio. Sweet. That's Louis next week. And Jeffrey's going to be at the Hollywood party I will be, yeah, I'll be at the tomorrow. Hollywood party tonight. Tomorrow night, Caroline's. I'll be at Caroline's. <laughs> Sunday, I'll be at Caroline's. Then next week, LA, the week after that in Kansas. And I'm sure I'm, I'm doing Miami and a few other places. You're coming places back this way, way before you... Uh, no, no. This is it? For for a while, I'm going to be. I'm going to be back uh, in New York. I'm, I'm, I'm filming a special, so I'll be back in February. February. So that's the next time. If, you'll, if you'll be so nice to have me back on. Of course. We'll Indeed, you've been a pleasure. Oh, thank you. Play thank you. Definitely sure. been, uh, been a lot of fun. All right. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I have my book coming out yes. Tuesday. Signings. Signings Monday in uh, New York City at Penn Station at the Borders. Yeah. And Tuesday I'm doing a signing, uh, but it's at Ridgewood uh, at Bookend. So we'll be keeping election coverage going, of course. Well, I guess, of course. Well, and yeah. uh, today my tickets are now on sale for D.C. December 5th. Right. It's actually all right. Uh, right. What's he doing? Take a minute for yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. You go to Ticketmaster.com. And my tickets for December motherfucker. Tickets on sale now. Tickets. It's a little place called the State Theater. And it's in a little town called Falls Church, Virginia. Should we do line of the day? Fuck it. Webex.com. We're not doing it, but it, uh, line of the day is brought to you by uh, Webex.com. I like Please. line of the day. I like, I like line of the day. All right, we can, right, we can Come run on, let's do it. Who cares? Nobody's listening. Yeah, and do it point. from the comfort of your own home. <laughs> After that, yeah. I had to turn that off so fast. <laughs> Check it out at Webex.com. Here's a runner-up line of the day. Yeah. You ever seen a burn victim? Most recognizable person in a room. <laughs> <laughs> the, the term, the term should be burnt that. to recognition. <laughs> Runner up, I'm happy with that. Very good. Another runner up line today. My favorite here. part of that story though is wolfing down food before oh, just yeah. being angry yeah. that your bodily needs are in the way of your gambling. Lucy <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> like, oh, That happens. Nice. Very nice. Oh, Another generous. runner up line of the day. That's a runner up. Remember that one where Mr. <laughs> Furley listened and he thought he heard, hey, Jack's dead behind the sofa. That is sudden. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Fucking Ticketmaster. Right now they're on sale for December. Right, right, right. <laughs> Another runner up line of the day. I had an ideal in my head that, you know, women that are like in their 40s are sexy because no. they're, you know, but I'd much rather fuck a 16 year old. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I always. Bravo. In jail. A big thank you to the crowd. We'll see most of you tonight. Hard Rock Cafe, 7 o'clock here in New York City. Uh, Webex.com. Here is your line here of the day. Here, here comes the line, line of the day. Jim Norton's gay. 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 I'm going to miss you, Roland. I really I, I love you on the show. I'm going to miss the show, too. I'm going to miss you very much. And whoever... Places me can suck my balls. That there's terrible. I'm sorry. Holy shit, Yahoo! I'm kidding, Ayo. Fucking roll. We're going to miss you, buddy. Wow, that was uh, all the rolling, rolling tags, tags that have been used yeah. for line of the day. Hey, uh, right. Roland, because you talked again, you got to like do the, the famous last words. You just okay. have to. <clears throat> Gym tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Amazon.com, pre his book, and uh, your mom's box. Yeah. Let's hear it for Roland, everybody. Nice. We'll see you at the Halloween party right. Monday. Thank Roland. you, Roland. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yo, yo, it's really good. I got the two baddest shot callers in the hood. Club soda Kenny on my left, rolling on my right. We're here to find out who got the illest dishes in the house. Come on, we gotta get this done so I can drink a 40. 
Got my man on the ones and twos, DJ. Fire it off when you're ready. See what's popping in here, kid. My, my, my style is the best, and so I challenge you. Kenny, bust some shots. This is the showdown. Yeah, yo, yeah. your shit sounds like a Kia. Oh, shit. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> your mama. That's a rookie move. The difference between, between you and a pizza, pizza can be a family of four. Kenny, you gonna let him get at you like that? Roland, you're just mad because I'm styling on you. <laughs> at least I know who my daddy is. He the baby daddy. He throws mad cock around. <laughs> Roland, what you got to say about that, Holmes? At least we don't have to part happy meals on layaway. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your flow's so weak, you can't wipe the sweat off my balls. Yeah, 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 everybody put it together for Roland, taking home the win, baby. Rolling out. Make money, money, make money, money, money.